kid. Here we go. There we go. What's <laughs> happening, man? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Um, I told De Deanna that she had to uh, join us. She said, okay, is that good with you? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she was anxious to say hi, too. I love that Bob Murley. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's that? Uh, having my wine, of course. What's the name of it? Freak Show. <laughs> <laughs> I just got some grape juice. Oh, that's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. Um, I've been doing, I love that grape juice. As a matter of fact, I just, the great, well, grape, grapefruit juice is what I have here, but uh, um, I haven't had any in a few days. Um, what I was going to say is uh, I just uh, did three of them just a little while ago. Uh, yeah, oh. and, and before I did that, I was doing it on my own head, just working on it, getting a little more, and I'm like, so, and my, head's, my head's feeling rough anyway, so I said, it's wine time. <laughs> <laughs> here she is. Here's a, honey, I'm oh, sure it's not, here, give me, give me a glass. No, you're drinking. Yeah, <laughs> I told her to give me your glass of wine, she goes, no, you drink it. <laughs> she knows me too well. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that crank up that job two did um and put on YouTube was hilarious. Hi Diana. Hey, yeah. How are you, Alex? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you, you too. You can kick me out anytime. <laughs> let, let me uh turn this around a little bit. No, it's fine. You need to we want to give Deanna full exposure. No, no. <laughs> Do you are you okay with this uh, going on uh, YouTube or uh, and also going to a scientist? You don't have to. Yeah, that's fine. I was just recording it because I didn't know. Okay, cool. Yeah, record it if you can. Um, this way, we're finally gonna make Deanna a movie star. She's so you know she's so <laughs> she's so shy, except around me. She's like <laughs> <laughs> look at that smile. She enjoys no, it, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm nervous because of the camera thing and you saying record it. Maybe it's good that we're having some wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Here's to you, Alex. Cheers, Cheers to Alex. you. And here's also to everyone else waking up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this uh, usually uh, we don't crack open any booze or wine or anything till later, but. Uh, uh, it's just one of those days, <laughs> man. It's uh, you know it's so funny getting the head work done so much, and you know, it's weird. My body's been shut down and it's falling apart, and yet the brain's kicking up, getting the stronger. I'm like, oh, for Pete's sakes, I feel like a rubber band, <laughs> and I'm like, snap already, snap. <laughs> watch out for your fingers. Watch out for your fingers. Um, so how you doing? Pretty good. Uh, um, what's with pops? Flowing. Um, I I kind of like disconnected from yeah. him because it's the he's, way. I'm, he's just the way like I, he's flowing. Is like gone. But yeah. like you put a boat on a uh, if you have a boat on a river. And you just stand there on the shore and you watch it. It's just flowing. It's just right. that's. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that, I don't know if you just use the word disconnected, but that's what it is. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't know. Doesn't know. Doesn't care. Doesn't want to. Right. You know. Um, life is tough somewhere sometimes. <laughs> I think that's why it's a four-letter word. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I always thought about age. There must be two A's or two two G's or two E's or something There's in there. Age, so I know it's a four-letter word, you know? <laughs> someone, someone thought they got slick and dropped the letter. How's your, uh, wow, your heart, stronger, much stronger. Um, pineal coming out like this. You have a lot of hope in it, uh, hope, hope in there. Um, light blue. Um,
I'm going here for a reason, and we're going to talk about it in a second. Mm -hmm. But um, let's let you go ahead and you know uh, talk about it first. Um, I'm seeing you getting stronger, but I'm seeing other stuff happening. Go ahead and talk about uh, um, how you've been doing lately. <clears throat> Your abilities. Um, I've just been seeing things sink more. Um, you're you see yourself going forward, but you haven't really popped open yet. It right. Is, you know yeah. that. Yeah. I I don't want to say it. I, I want you to you know just say how you feel. Um. Because, like I said, I see you stronger. I see you coming out more. I do see you opening up more and getting stronger. Um, uh, your brain uh, is growing. It's changing. Um, but at the same time, uh, the vision, uh, acuity of seeing reality. Um, why is that being hampered? Um, female energy around and... Uh, She's looking at me very serious, and she says, waiting on you. And it's like, uh, <laughs> that's like, okay. Um, she's keeping you from getting stronger. Um, but I had to get to this point. And, you know, your heart energy is so strong, right? Um, she wants your heart to heal first. Um, yeah. You know, with what's going on. Yeah. Um, and I understand that. Uh, the heart is so powerful, but damn, man, that thing can hurt. Yeah. So, I'm so glad when Deanna hits me over the head instead of stabs me in the heart, you know? <laughs> <laughs> takes so much longer to heal. I said, honey, don't push it in. No, no. <laughs> she loves that. She says, I'm a little toughy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> going to be teaching uh, classes, uh, people understanding heart energy and evolving, uh, getting stronger. That's one of the reasons it was really important for this to happen. Um, this DNA chain, oh, I'm sorry, wait a minute. Bless you. Yeah. I got to clean this, see right there? I mean, that's, yeah, I, the dust well, coming out of the AC unit. Uh, no, just to show you, but I'll be dead, honey, and you have to clean it later. I'll clean it now or soon, but not not the second. But uh, that that's the intake for the uh, portable AC. Uh, there'll be a new a whole new AC system put in this house. Really nice. It'll be made for one. It, it, I'm putting in a unit that's literally twice what the house requires, and it's it's the second highest efficiency there is, and it's twin levels and. You know, so it'll be nice. I'm trying to give Deanna uh, everything I can, you know, before I go. Like an AC cranker. <laughs> yeah, I told her, these stones are for you. These, she goes, these are my stones? I said, yes. And then she was pissed at me. She started throwing stones at me. I said, I don't <laughs> want them back. You know, <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing. I see the thought that was in her head? They bounced off of his hard head so far. <laughs> No, she's she's sweet. Um, just want to piss her off. That's when I get scared. She well, looked, I wonder she, where she I looked, got that hammer from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got some real nice hammers for busting up rock, and some of them are pointed. I said, yeah, bad move, Jay, bad move. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Oh, the other hammer. It's so, oh, yeah, the energy hammer. Mm -hmm. It's so... Uh, we got some more tools. Uh, it's just so much to this stuff, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to sh show her more about tumbling here in a bit, but uh, just trying to do that, all the paperwork. 1099s here and there, going over here, over there, and uh, um, of course it's the paperwork that's a pain in the butt. Yeah. The lawsuit stuff. What did you say? No? Okay. I'm not um, no, nobody gets to be a spectator in there. Me, you're drawing right into it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Did you, in that big order you put in, did you uh, order a Merlin Sphere? <clears throat> Merlin Sphere? I didn't want to because you had to tell us that you might make a Super Merlin Sphere. He's waiting on that one. Yeah, yeah, honestly, don't worry about it. I'm, we're just, okay. I'm going to make it for you and send it with the other ones. <sighs> I got to pay for it, though, Rob. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you can pay for it by being you and just, uh, you know, when it's time helping other people. You, you know, that's who you are. This Now, this DNA thing, um, your DNA, your energy is stronger. Your body's stronger. Um, taking good care of it, too. Um what do you see in his body? See fire and flowing. It's just Good. yeah. It's like all of the you know when you're driving, all of the lights are green. Yeah, you yeah. Your your energy inside is going all good through your body. Um, I see fluids flowing. Um, uh, I see the energy of crystal and citrine much stronger in your body than it used to be. And crystal is clarity. Yeah. And then citrine is a little extra clarity, but it's focus. And yeah. it's also cleaning. Yeah. That's what's going on. Your body That's cleaning, the whole body, and then and the grapefruit juice, which is really good for you. Good. <laughs> um, you say great. Grape for, oh, uh, like uh, um, I meant to say grape, uh, grape juice. Grape juice, thank you. <laughs> I, I need grapefruit juice, and that's where that came from, actually. <laughs> um, my head, I swear it, it's, it's just like it's like this. It's like taking a muscle going like this. It's like, and I'm like, okay, that's what the wine's for. It's like, yeah, easy does it. It's like having a hundred. <laughs> Budweiser Clydesdale's just like, <laughs> rawr, 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 let's go. Um, it's, it's, uh, no, not grape juice. Not grapefruit no, juice. Oh, no, no, it's not. Oh, no, yeah, this is a form of grape juice. It's just yeah. been hanging around a while, fermented. <laughs> um, you're already starting to understand more things about what's going on around you. People, I mean, not just the other side, but I mean, people. Yeah. It's easier to understand and feel people. Yeah. Um, This uh, sphere, when I uh, this Merlin sphere, uh, when I build it for you, it's gonna have uh, it. It will be a Merlin sphere, but I'm gonna personalize it to your energy. Okay. It'll be strong, but see, you're already awake, mm -hmm. so I don't have to use much. Uh, I try not to use. I try to use a minimal amount of star resonite in it, because yeah. it's about putting energies together, right. not trying to make it stronger. But um, these new ones, like a Super Merlin Sphere or whatever, uh, I do put a little bit of star arsenide in there, make them a little stronger. Mm -hmm. um, the, the actual stone uh, Merlinite is actually uh, what they call Gabbo, G-A-B-B-O, and it comes from uh, um, Madagascar. Mm. More so than anyone uh, anywhere else, but it changes the DNA in the head, I mean, the whole body, but it when I go in the head and do it, you know, I just see it. There's one part that initiates what controls it. That's part one. Part two is working on the part of the brain that actually produces it and sends it out, then kind of sends it out, you know, produces it and releases it. And then the third stage is what actually moves it all throughout your body. Mm -hmm. As soon as I start it, it starts happening in all directions, but those are the three stages. Um, what I do is take unicorn energy, throw it through you first, just loosen things up, then I go in and pull out little stuff that bothers you, frustrates you, get rid of it. And then I go in there and uh, uh, throw a little more unicorn energy in there, just keep things nice and loo uh, loose. Um, have I gone into your head to release what's in there yet? Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm going to just clean the first. Okay. Um, I 
How's your head feel? I feel pulsing. Yeah, I just I went in to release it again. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, what's her name? This uh, female spirit in there helping out. Uh, she was actually trying to hold things down in your head, and it was just kind of moving it around a little bit. So I just kind of like, it's like taking folded paper and opening it up. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's no big deal. Um, okay, let's loosen things up. Okay, here we go. All right, now before we start, if you would, um, go ahead and feel your energy. Remember, right over your head, that's, yeah. th that's your spirit coming right out through the body, you know, through the core, dual, uh, dual spirit core, going through the crown, through the, the whole body, the crowns, and going out over your head. It's like a strong flame coming out. And then on the sides, that's just the energy. Mm -hmm. So if, if you would, feel the, uh, you know, locate where that shell is. It's over your head. Um, Feel, feel, yeah. You know, just it, it's you're already floating way over your head. Um, just put your hands up there and just feel the energy in your hands, okay? Okay, feel your hands. <laughs> How do your hands feel? I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. Um, make it feel like this. All right. Feel. Do you tell me how your hands feel? I'm already looking at it. Make up your mind. Make a sphere and just see the sphere there. And uh, how do your fingertips feel? Or your palm or your heart or your head? I feel different things. I don't, I don't yeah, know. No, it's, it's, it's all soft. I'm, I'm looking at it. I know what I, I, I see it. It's happening. But what I want to know, and I, I can tell you what colors are going on there being produced by the frequencies you're using uh but what do you what little feeling do you get do you feel any warmth or tingling in your fingertips tingling yeah yeah see that that that's that's your hard energy cranking up okay okay um what about your palms how do your palms feel um pulsing and I can't say I don't feel heat. No, that's okay. Because 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 there is something going on there. You're realizing it. Okay. Um, what? Relax and just feel the color of that sphere. That's in the energy sphere that you've made. That's part of you. That's inside your hands. What colors do you see? Um, green, maybe. That's the first thing that came to mind. Okay, and great green is spiritual healing. Uh, darker green is uh, um, um, physical healing. Yellow. Yep, big time yellow. Red. Red is normal. That's you, that's heart. There's one that's missing. Well, there's a few others in there, but there's a big one. I want to say tan. It's well, tan. You kind of balanced, but you have strong orange in there. It's, okay. It's but it's like it's it's not. It's not orange like. Uh, it, it's not neon orange. Right. It's calm pa orange, which is passion, mm -hmm. but it's it's like neutral, calm down. Okay. You know, some people think neutral means it doesn't exist. No, <clears throat> it's in a relaxed state. Right. And that's what, and that's orange in there. I saw that yellow and orange in there right away. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's like a fiery amber kind of thing. And then red is going to be there because you're strongest in the heart. Yeah. You know? Um, okay. And uh, the yellow the yellow also comes from the uh, uh, oh. solar plexus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm looking around your brain. Um, that's weird. How's your head feel? Um, okay, it's like pressure, but maybe like there's some temperature to it. Okay. How's it feel now? Well, that's gone. Yeah, I just, I just, you had something near where I'm going to do this work. You had a look like a piece of copper gold foil or something, some kind of structure, like a sensor, but it was also a little bit like a crimp, um, mm -hmm. a physical, mm -hmm. and it was in your brain. So... I did what I needed to do to actually remove it. And then, so I removed it and then released the pressure and uh, it's gone now, but it was, damn it. Uh, every once in a that was Gaia. I was trying to look at what I was seeing and double check everything and she smacked the crap. But she just, she hits your nervous system and you jerk like that. Yeah. Um, and that's, she's, she, that's her and everything else when it happens, uh, saying you're right, keep on going. It's like, yeah, I know I'm right. I'm just finishing, you know, anytime something happens, I tear it apart. I want to make sure I know I'm telling people the right thing. Uh, but it was an implant. Okay. But it was also crimping what we're about to do here. Okay. Um, it looked like a little piece of copper gold foil that was crimpled up and bent in a kind of a weird, you know, shape like, I don't know, like a long string, like a worm, but it was crumpled uh flat uh look like crumpled almost flat uh, metal uh, copper gold looking has something to do with uh, studying your chromosome development okay something new is happening with you they're not used to seeing okay <clears throat> yeah we thought you get a load of this um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, try this. Just put your hands to the side of your head and just see how they feel. It's okay. I want to make sure we get you in there, okay? No, 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 You're no, the star. Sure. You and Alex are the stars. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, Put it right there and then slowly move it closer to your head until you feel a little warmth or tingling or pressure. What do you feel right there? Um, because it's cold in here, I kind of felt like some temperature change. Yeah, and on, is the AC kicking? Just the fan is on. Yeah, maybe the AC is on too. Yeah. Okay, because that when your body's cold, it's harder to feel stuff. But that's yeah, okay. And... That's okay. You know you have something that makes yeah. it harder to feel. You just add that into the equation. Okay? okay. Yeah. Now, put your if you would, aim, aim your palms towards your head, but put them close over your head. Don't let them touch. Okay. Put them close up there and slowly come down until you start feeling... A little more pressure or heat or tingling and then and then when you feel it go up a little bit and then down it's hard for you to feel because your energy barriers way the hell over your fracking head it's 10 <laughs> feet it's literally 10 feet over your shoulders but what you're trying to feel is intensity uh, the intensity of the energy that's coming out of you but you don't have a barrier to touch 
so you can't feel something solid. It's it, you have to be more sensitive. Right. I I can't. I feel like you, my hands you, are. You know you're feeling something right there. That's good. Just just remember about where your hands are and how it felt. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this. Okay. Now this goes in three stages. The first stage, I go into what actually, what what is the blueprint to change your DNA. Okay. okay. What actually makes the change? What the part of your brain that says, I shall produce this type of DNA. This is what okay. we shall produce. And part two goes into the part uh, that actually produces. It takes the blueprints, produces the DNA. And then starts building it up and, and it starts flowing it onto the body. And then part three is the distribution center where I just relax it and let, open it up. Plus I put a little more uh, source in it. Okay. Can I, can I hold the uh, max fear? Uh, uh, well, honestly, put it down for now because you're going to have enough going in you. <laughs> that sphere puts out a lot of power, but ain't nothing like what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> you have your seatbelt on? Huh? <laughs> she said you have your seatbelt on. Okay. <laughs> um, and what, as you feel something, just go ahead and say it. And then after we're done with each phase, I'll ask you how you feel, okay? Okay. Um, one last thing. Okay, good. And this is going to help you, too, as time goes on. It helps you with understanding, which is really good, especially for people who are really strong in the solar plexus. Okay. okay, okay, now here it goes. Okay, how's your head feel? Um, <clears throat> I wasn't paying too much attention to my brain because I started feeling uh, tingling in my in my fingertips. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. The body head, it's all good. Okay, but I wouldn't know what it, what to describe. Yeah, <laughs> uh, kind of a flowing kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it, 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 it is. It's strong. All right, now here's part two. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. How does that feel? I've I was feeling a lot of stuff up here. Yeah. This first thing that I do activates part of the brain I always said I'd never talk about, you know? Mm -hmm. yep. And it literally is what changes the DNA and people's abilities to have the stronger uh, metaphysical abilities. Mm -hmm. You know, it actually opens it up so that can start happening. Okay, and here's the third part.
Okay. How do your hands have anything feel on that? Um, pulsing and tingling. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> awesome. All right. Now here's this is relaxing everything. Wow. Okay. Um, got something I didn't expect on that. Um, how do you feel? Different? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I went into you before and released that part of you, so it would flow, and it just, like I said, it just got crampled, so I released a little bit. When I went in and finished that, and then I went in and one more time, just relaxed all the energy in there. That part of you just went wham, you know, and just, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> uh, yellow, orange, red, uh, amber, red. Okay. Um, just, um, and looked right at me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but that, I, you know, I've done a bunch of, well, pretty good, you know, a few of these things. And uh, and I, I've, I don't know how many times I've gotten the people to release that part of them. Um, that was waiting for that to happen. Uh, this is going to help you understand. Th it's going to do a lot, but uh, over 50% of it is uh, about helping you understand things better. You understand becoming much stronger, but it literally changes. Uh, it changes your brain, but it, it actually makes changes to your body, to your you know bone structure, your face, yeah. Yeah. and it, not in a bad way. It's just right. it. it when people, if, as this happens and goes over time, um, less than 20 weeks, it actually starts changing you. It, it makes you a little different, but it's, when people see you, they're going to see you, but a little stronger. Will I get you know, a deeper voice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, uh, yeah. Okay, it's, good. It's, it's not just going to be deeper. It'll be softer, but it'll be stronger. Okay. And that's, that's what happens. Um, you're going to be talking to a lot of people about energy in the body. You're just going to see it, look at it, mm -hmm. and people see it and talk with them about it. Um, you're going to help them understand it. But your voice, when it comes off, it's going to be soft and quiet, but it's going to be like, it's like a big river that flows softly. Yeah. It's kind and gentle, but don't try to stop it. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like there's no stopping it. Um, and that's power, especially you, you're going to be talking with a lot of people about this stuff. Um, can you please? You are, yeah. Please. Thank you, you see him talking, I see kids, like really young, opening, I don't know, something about kids. Deanna said you're going to have a bunch of kids and you're going to have to pay uh, child support to 50 million ladies. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, she, uh, um, she, no, she was saying that she's seen you talk with a lot of uh, uh, younger folk. Yeah. Uh, she was saying kids, but I'm seeing a wide variety. And thank yeah, you, but honey. Also yeah, but I'm also see seeing you talk. Here. Talking to, uh, the I gotta... freak show. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah. But it, a, lot of, a lot of times it'll be younger kids uh, or young adults with parents, with friends. Yeah. Uh, to understand what's going on, right? Um, you'll be good helping people with relationships, but it's about understanding who they are, right? And that's really important. That's why you're one of the few people that are actually getting this. Yeah. Thank you. Um, You'll be having classes, you'll be making money doing it, and you'll be doing personal private consults, a lot of them with uh, family members. Um, there'll be children that have abilities, and the parents are somewhat aware of stuff, but trying to understand it, and they'll be coming to you. Okay. So you can understand, you, the heart is so powerful, and you're so strong in the heart, you're going to feel that. You're going to see and feel and understand things about it. That's the way Deanna is. You know, um, Siobhan, same way, very powerful heart. <clears throat> We're all different, man. It's like snowflakes. Yeah. You know, when you look at a snowflake, it's a crystal, 
that has a different kind of structure. Everyone mm -hmm. is made of different frequencies, different percentages of different variations of that same basic frequency, and different power levels within that frequency, different percentages of that frequency compared to others. I mean, it, it's an almost uh, uh, infinitesimal uh, variety of uh, frequencies, you know, yeah. who we are. Yes. And that's, uh, that makes us all unique. That's why when we finally get out of these bodies and we go home, we all know each other. Yeah. It's like a name tag. Hi, I'm... <laughs> oh, hey, I remember you. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> you know, it, it's like when we when you're gonna know the same thing. When you go to look at that, you'll be seeing past lives and stuff like that all over the place. Um, you know Tony Hall, don't you? No. No, Tony Hall is pretty funny. He's a uh, fame in essence. Um, he's oh, you essence. mean he he's he has the dreads? Yeah. 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 He's got the dreads too. Yeah. yeah, we're friends. I had some, but Deanna cut them <laughs> off and stole them at night. You know. <laughs> I woke up. She had the longest one wrapped around my neck, going like this. I said, "Damn." <laughs> no, I'm gonna kid. She's sweet. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah and he he's uh, uh, he's a lot of hard energy too. Yeah. If I brought yep. him up. Tony's cool. We were talking about that earlier. Uh, uh, we. We met a few times. He was at that last uh, yeah. event I had, but uh, when I went to go meet him before that, we were sitting there talking, all kinds of stuff, moving around the room and everything. And I was just sitting there. I just, I just literally told, "Hey, man, we're being filmed." And I looked out the window. When I looked up in the clouds, the cloud, I saw something in the clouds, and I said, "This is a ship." And then the clouds oh. finished moving away a little more. There's the, sh you could see it. Yeah, it's right there. I see that. Yeah. ship. Yeah, daylight. Yep. And then I said, Tony, we're being watching. He goes, looks, and he goes, damn. <laughs> you know, I said, whatever, you know. And then, and, you know, if I would have thought about it, if I was really trying to promote myself hard, um, I'd have taken pictures of it. Mm -hmm. I'd have gotten out my camera right there, taken a couple of pictures and whatever. But it, it's never been about, you know, it's never been about that. I need to prove a little bit about myself so people have a reason to read the books and find out who the hell they are. Yeah. You know, Deanna says, you know, you got these books over here. You don't have your own books up. And I said, <laughs> good point. Good point. Yeah. But... That's how he says he's that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another bunch out. <laughs> yeah, so you know what? I said, I'm smarter than you, Deanna. I cut it real short. And then she just smiled at me. I said, all right, that's scary. Now I'm afraid. <laughs> I, and then I woke up in the middle of the night. I felt something touch my head. She had vice grips. She was going for those little studs, you know, pull them out. <laughs> I bought some wax. <laughs> but I was safe. But I was safe. The EPA came over here and threatened to lock her up for messing with an endangered species. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> so that, uh, so, oh, um, now, now, when you feel your aura, try it again. I keep feeling it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> How do your fingers feel tingling when you put them out there? Yeah, it's like um, you know, when you put push your hand through water and like you yeah. feel it. That's what it feels like. Yeah, and like I said, literally from your shoulder, it's about it's it's a little over ten feet, ten and twelve feet. Now it was right at ten foot, right from your shoulders going straight up. That's how far your energy barrier is over your head. Now it's a little bit higher. But it's flowing different, um, okay. and I was just uh, um, as you were doing that relaxing and feeling. There was all this beautiful pink compassion energy all over the place. Also, um, seeing stars. Your energy, the, the the part of you that spirit that comes out of you that goes into the rest of you outside of your body, like everyone else, you're literally hanging out in space. Mm. You know, not real far away. You're close to the earth, but you're floating out in space. You're out of the atmosphere a pretty good bit. 
which is good. People, you, you'll find ships popping in and out to feel it and see it and talk with you later. <laughs> uh, okay, lobby. There's a lobby. Uh, All right, these guys look different. Um, there's a ship, not that far away. All right, believe it or not, it's floating over Africa. <laughs> uh, in between where where you are in Africa, like here's Africa, here's here's Africa, here's you. Mm -hmm. It goes up like this. It's not a halfway. It, it's more. It's, it's over Africa, but it's a little bit yeah. towards you. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're watching your energy. What do those guys look like? Dark skin. What do the bodies look like? Like the skin is really um, attached to the bone structure. Like, not much flesh. No, they don't have. To, she was saying the the skin's really attached to the, to, bone, to the structure. bone structure. Like These are some type of insectoid people, oh. and they're slender, but they're, that's what they are. They're, that's what she was describing. She said we all see things different ways. Yeah. No? <clears throat> I see the I should wash the wash the dishes, but I wind up washing them. <laughs> we all see things. He says that, that, and that's wishful thinking. <laughs> I tell her to stay away from them and let me do it, but she said, "Okay, look." I can't even reach the top of the dirty dishes, and I said, "Okay, okay." <laughs> it's called art. We're, we're, we're yeah, <laughs> we're both the same way. But uh, I want to do the dishes. Just you know, I got to do something. Um, she does so you much. Mean not empty. What's the opposite of empty? Uh, to full. Full the, the yeah. washer. Yeah. Dishwasher. Oh yeah, to fill it up. Yeah. To fill yeah, it up. yeah. 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 Because people are going to think you're scraping things, and no, no, that's not no, 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 such no, a no, no, here, no. <laughs> when I went to When I went to get a, uh, um, I had seen Deanna coming down here into the house, and I didn't say anything to her, because we all know how the future keeps changing. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul had, had even seen that a long time ago. Um, that's because he knew otherwise I would have moved all the way to Spain. <laughs> yeah. But uh, and then when I went, uh, um, I was s still really sick, and I needed to replace a dishwasher. I knew my time was getting short. I know my body's dying. I feel it. You know. Um, sometimes I can walk up the stairs without stopping. Sometimes it takes me a couple minutes. You know, uh, whatever. It, it's just that feeling when I finally can see it happening. I'm doing it to myself to make sure everything on the other side understands. Hey, I'm leaving. It's time to put it together. Um, but uh, uh, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. One second. Um, I'm seeing these guys with, with these hands. They, they got uh, four legs, two arms. It's almost like they got little clippers for hands. Um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> they have little folk that work with them. Um, have very light skin and more humanoid round heads. Um, rainy, rainy, wow, rainy heads. Um, mm. Two foot tall. So they were small, but I saw dark skin too. So. Yeah. I mean, not like. Yeah, yeah, these are other folks that are with these other guys. Oh, okay. These other guys, I'm seeing about five, six foot tall. But then again, you gotta, they're gotta, you know, they're four back legs and two front legs. Mm -hmm. um, but they're in the middle of doing something. They're doing something. The little guys are doing something with instruments, measuring. Oh, they're measuring your energy growth. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> oh, they're, they're the little assholes that put the thing in your head. <laughs> Smart asses. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up my toy. <laughs> That's funny as shit. Um, so much for that. Oh. Yeah, the equipment they use for that, it's like a little discussion. And uh, the guys who run the show, these insect type guys, who just, you know, don't worry about it, just let it go. 
just read it with a scanner instead of being obtrusive. Oh he's, he's, yeah, no more implants because he's not going to let us get away with that. And yeah. be home soon. sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's a good thing to keep the old fart in your side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long you been around? How old are you? I made soap. First one to play with dirt. Um, now, what was I going to say? Uh, the dishwasher. Oh, yeah. Um, so I got this new dishwasher, just a cheap one. Mm -hmm. And I had to have something. The old one broke, and then they, they showed up at the house, and uh, they put the dishwasher in. I said, man, this thing won't do anything. It's not working. Yeah. So they said, okay, we'll just bring another one. So I only paid, I didn't even pay $400 for the first one. And then when they replaced it, they brought this other one, installed it, of course, for free. It's like a $750, $800 dishwasher. I'm like, what? <laughs> and he said, Jay, that's all we had. That's what I brought. I'm putting it in. I'm saying, I will not stop you. I will make sure no one stops you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then the guy was a nice guy. He goes, hey, I'll do some plumbing, too. I said, okay, fine, then. Paid him a couple hundred bucks and he uh, fixed plumbing uh, in the kitchen area. I'm like, all right, why is this shit going on? You know, what do you all have in your heads? What are you doing here? That's This is about the house being ready for someone to come. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so anyway, uh, you know, coming to be here, which I was seeing in and out. But you know what? There's so much going on. There's so much of me out of my body. When I, excuse me, when a strong part of me comes out and tries to go into the other part of me to see what's going on, there's a fight, and it's just like, I understand it's not worth it. Just right. leave it alone. And everything's, I know everything's okay, because it's me. I feel it. I understand it. I have little problems with stuff here and there. Fine, everyone does. But uh, with what I'm doing, seeing little issues here and there, so Dan will tell you, man, it, it's enough to drive you crazy. But uh, I understand, because no one over there knows how to run a life. And the oldest, the one who knows more about having lives is me. Yeah. I, if you have a baker and a mechanic, uh, who's the guy that's a baker has been a baker 20 years, mechanic's been a mechanic 20 years, who's going to do a better job of running a mechanic shop? You know, the <laughs> mechanic, you know. Um, but no one ever has run lives except for the original first being male and female, now dead. Yeah. They wouldn't let anyone else do it. If you, have a, if you have a job driving a bus and you never let anyone learn how to ride a bus, how to drive a bus, excuse me, you, that's job security, right? Yeah. Well, that's what we're going through now, but uh, we're about to go through. <clears throat> so anyway, so I couldn't really see what was going on, but I, I could feel it and see it. And then when I went to look for finite details, they weren't there. They weren't made yet. And part of it has to do with how I react to things and my problems trying to deal with it. Because I can't tell, I can't deal with someone telling me what I have to do. Right. Now, Deanna comes closer than anyone else, you know, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that grin. She goes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just mad because I know I've been recorded. Yeah. <laughs> she says, I'm going to use this later. Uh, no, but seriously, uh, um, so there's no, and there's no sense in trying because it keeps changing. Everything's, everything's changing. I'm almost out of here. I know everything's going in the right direction. There's so much of me out of the body. I know I can trust it. I can't deal with that stuff. I can't see that. I'm stuck in a human body. I uh, go out of me. It's just no. It's, it's just too hard, and the body's dying. I'm very good with this. Um, so then all of a sudden, I went to get a washer. I was uh, the washer. Uh, was the washer dryer messed up? The dryer was having issues, and then a washer started making some noise. So I'm like, what the hell? And then I was just. It was part of guy. I was talking with me. She said no, and then she sh showed me a nice washer and dryer in Deanna, and I'm like, oh okay. So I, I, you know, the ones I got, the pair only cost me maybe five hundred dollars for both of them. Deanna said, "I ain't gonna touch those, man. You're going for five grand or nothing." No, I'm, like, I'm, only, I'm, only, I'm only kidding. So I'm only kidding. I, so, so I showed her, you know, you know. So she, so I, we looked at this one and that one. I said, "Yeah, that's okay." She goes, "Yeah, that's nice." And I, I looked, I looked at the guy. I looked at that one. I'm looking at this one. Look at that one. Look at the price tags. But I just like that one over there better. Just felt better about it. And I said, "Hey." Uh, what's with this one over here? He goes, this is the one I got in my house. I said, okay. So we started talking about it. Both, they were both LGs, you know, really nice. Um, and th but this, so I said, this one, why is this one better? I, I said, I can see it costs a couple bucks more, but it's not that big a deal. Why, why do I know this is a better thing? He goes, it's got a steamer 
thing, so it's like, like yeah. steams your clothes when they come out. So I'm like, okay. So a little over twenty three hundred dollars later, we're walking out the door. I got the five year warranty, so <laughs> Deanna doesn't have to worry about that when I go. <clears throat> but uh, um, and you know, this was all to help her. Cause see, the other side was like me. They were afraid she when I when I die, the body dies. She's gonna go. Wah! Go running yeah. out of here, so I have to get enough stuff to keep her, you know, maybe yeah. I'll weld a cord from her to the wa dishwasher, so, I mean dishwasher to the clothes washer, so she can't get away too far. Like the silver cord thing? Yeah, the silver cord. That is so funny. Everyone has said, oh, when you die, you go out to space and everything. Well, I don't know. I see the silver cord that's attached to you, goes about two and a quarter feet, goes a couple feet out towards the right, and it just disappears. <laughs> and I'm telling people... A foot and a half to the right, three foot up. That's where the bottom. That's where the floor is for the other side, second dimension, what you call heaven. And if you take a foot and a half to the right, three foot up, and you do the hypotenuse of a triangle thing, you know, and you got a little better than two feet. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, you don't know what you're talking about. I said, okay, <laughs> that's all right. I love you anyway. Go to hell. This, you know. This, <laughs> you anyway uh you know it's not i don't get mad i just get tired sometimes yeah all these animals suffering the plants uh, everything is equal everything is paramount everything is important but i'm addressing the people and they've been led these human bodies we've been led down the wrong road we've been raised trained to be the wrong thing by the original first being male and female ever since the first life I was there. So I understand, and understanding is power. Yeah. It helps cut down on uh, your base chakra with emotions firing up and screwing the hell out of your energy and everything else. When that base chakra fires up real hard emotions, your crown shuts down, everything's screwed up. You can't work. You know, the DNA goes <laughs> like that and everything else. So... <clears throat> Anyway, you know, things are happening good over here. Um, I want to see when and where you break loose and come away. Um, it could be in August that something happens. could be uh, next month um, when something comes together for something. Uh, I mean, you know, for you to start moving together to do what you're going to do here. When I say something, I can't tell you exactly what. Um, there's a young lady involved. Um, she, she's got really nice hard energy. Um, excuse me. Um, damn, wine's trying to bite me back. What do you see there? What do you see about him as he wakes up and... Starts moving towards. Uh, oh, because I was looking at her. Okay. So what? What was that? Yeah. Wait, what do you see about her? Go ahead. I was seeing someone petite. Yeah. Skinny. She she's slender. Yeah. And she's sweet. Mhm. Mm she's not timid, but she's very soft. She can be feisty. Yeah, I was gonna say just she's like Deanna, but a little calmer. <laughs> you know. <laughs> But she can still go Deanna on you any minute, so just be careful. <laughs> I think I like her. Yeah, I like her a lot. She's really sweet. Yeah, um, She has good heart energy and soft and clear energy in her, waiting to become, you know, waiting to change in who she is. Um, when you meet her and you feel she's the one that's going to help you do this teaching and everything and you feel comfortable, just go up to her and just put your energy into her and mm -hmm. without saying a word, just go in your head and say, Jay, let's take care of her here and I'll okay. crank her up. Mm -hmm. I'll give her the nine yards just like you. Okay. The whole nine yards. <clears throat> and, uh, that'll uh, get things going. She's going to help you teach people. Um, something about her dad being kind of strict. And then when she starts doing stuff, He's going to be like, hmm, and then yeah. he'll like it. Um, hmm. 
something going on with mom, but the, um, just things happening. Yeah. There's a lot of movement, energy, emotion around your house. Change. All right, there's some guy coming around like a brother or something, older brother. Um, been an older brother, younger brother. Um, I have an older brother. Oh, oh, it's, okay, older brother. Been, been younger prison. brother. Yeah, <clears throat> something's going on with him. He's in he's in the hole. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm feeling despair. Mm hmm You know? Um, poor guy. Damn. <clears throat> he's not mad at you. He's upset uh, with himself and some others. But uh, I'm seeing one to four. Uh, one to four months. Uh, what time limit till he's hanging around? Um, it'll be around either it's you know he he has six years so maybe twenty twenty but it might be a little less. Okay. Um, I think about a month from now something's gonna come up. Four months from now, things will start getting more solid to uh, make something happen. Yeah. I think it'll be less than that. You know, it, it, yeah. it'll be less. Okay. Um, <clears throat> something's gonna happen to free him up a little bit, which is good. Okay. That sucks. He's mad at uh, a guy and a guy and a girl. Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, he's like, damn. <clears throat> I think I'm going to give them a metaphysical wedgie. <laughs> guy in the side is just an asshole. Yeah. The guy by himself, he's a real ass. Now the couple, just scared and running, and the guy, he's worse than a girl. The girl can be manipulative, but that guy still got, got a little bit of a head up his assitis. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy that's on his own Still got this thing about money. And then the guy that's with the couple thing, he's wanting to find a new, another way, a new way to make some more money, get money coming. And this other guy says, I want my money back. I want, you know, he's like mine, power. And it's like, he's going to get his ass kicked. Yeah. <clears throat> I think he's, the feeling that the one that is by himself is getting physically sick. Yeah, he's, he's literally getting hit by a bus. Mm. Having health issues. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't, I love everyone, you know, right. you're the same way, you know. Uh, it's, just, it's just like when, when something happens and it's wrong and it's abusive, I do what I do. I don't think twice. Right. And if something won't stop, they got to go. Yep. You know why? Because everything else needs to stay. Yeah. People don't understand me, and you know, some. Uh, I mean, most of them don't, and I don't blame them. Hell, I'm the first one to tell them, "Hey, don't trust me. Don't trust nobody but yourself. Just become yourself. Listen <clears throat> to what I tell you. When you see stuff, see if it matches. Because guess what? It will. Yeah. No whoopie do Jay. It's just damn it. Be you. Where'd you go to school? I went to. What's the matter, you? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> I got there. They said, "You're at. What's the matter, you?" I said, "What's the matter, me?" No, I said, "What's the matter, you?" Uh, <laughs> it's so funny. People don't understand it. Um, you've heard this uh, in a few videos where you know, like that one time at Golden's Auto Service when it was around uh, mm -hmm. uh, under that name, that owner. Uh, this lady, she was so worried about her daughter. Man, it's just I'm working on her car. On a, you know, it was a simple brake check. I usually don't even do that. <laughs> But, you know, it had to be done. She was in a rush, and she had to go get her daughter from school. She's like this. She's like, inside her energy, she's like, ah! I'm like, damn it, you know? And I, so I told her what's wrong with the brakes. I said, honey, look, damn it. It's okay. She's, she's going to be fine. Stop, you know, you're over here freaking out. I can't even think. You know? <laughs> <laughs> 
by Wednesday evening. She's fine. And, Whew, you talk like this to everybody? I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your night? Duh. You know, okay. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't say duh, because like, that would make someone feel self-conscious. Right. I, I say it on video, but, uh, you know, I would never be like that with someone. It's just people need to understand who they are. This is all changing now. And all these other beings, insectoids, uh, amphibious, everything, other planets, when the equivalent of us when we're six years old, they're learning this stuff. They learn how to use their abilities. What are you seeing about the girl? Right now, where she where she's at? What's going on? She's close, I don't know. She's close. Yeah. She's like distance is close. Yeah. Either she just Excuse moved me. or she nah. Us. She's nearby. Something about a store. I see her, her dad, and I see a store nearby. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Where? It's hard. Much harder. Start shopping. Yeah. <laughs> Start shopping. <laughs> it'll. It'll. You'll be sent there when it's time. It'll just be made to happen. Uh, you know it's. I, I know what I am and how strong I am, but still I'm easily influenced by the other side, like Gaia or source mm -hmm. energy. Usually it's my own energy that's outside of me, you know, making whatever happen that they feel needs to, but they don't understand sometimes. They just really don't need to do that. But it's when I, because I understand that they don't understand and know how to do it, and they're in their heart to try and do the right thing. I put up with as much as I can, but sometimes I got to grab them, clean them, freeze them, and store them. You know, and but and then you go to the next person. You got to teach them yeah. until they screw up. Then you go to the next person. That's been my life for the last I don't know how many years. I don't want to hurt anything. I want to help everybody, but the, the stuff doesn't stop. It's like damn. And then Gaia came up to me a while back and she said, "You got to go now, man." You know, she was getting freaked out. Are you attacking your own energy? I said, if it's that stupid, it doesn't need to exist. So, and then uh, Zayrin, uh, my major, uh, a major animal spirit guide, he's part of this council over there. He goes, clean it and store it, please. Quit killing this stuff. You know, you're deleting it permanently. It's like, it's part of you. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. Just, you know, you get tired. I understand it. That's why I gotta go with. I'm so happy to. Um, it, it's and it's not like dying. It's getting free. Yeah. You know. Oh well. Um, you start these classes and stuff, and then she comes into it somehow. <clears throat> you might even meet her at a store. Um, she's buying a register or something, and you hand her a card or something, whatever. Okay. You can get those, uh, um, you can buy the real cheap 35 bucks or even download a uh, uh, business card. Business card factory is one I had on my computer just to make some cards for yourself, you know, and yeah. get started. Mm -hmm. um, so there's stuff moving around. Um, what do you see going on? Yeah, I can see the stuff better than me right now. I'm uh, my no, head's where? killing me. I, no, I was seeing a huge animal guy for him, but eagle very big. Yeah, Paul's took that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, bald eagle. The white head, big brown body, or how no, you see in gold. I'm seeing a big, big bald eagle. But it's huge. I've never it, seen it, it's huge. That's, That's what Bergie said. Yeah. yeah. Bergie. Bergie. Me yeah, the this thing is huge and it's hanging over your head. It's it means powerful spirit, mm -hmm. but it means so far above everything, it has the general view. Yeah. And remember, like I was telling you, understanding. Yeah. The more you understand, the better your view. We're gonna send you a nice piece of celestite too, but that's I'll, I'll be putting more celestite in this uh, uh, Merlin yeah. sphere. Yeah. So that'll that'll be good. <clears throat> These spheres, man, they you know they're going nuts, and they're uh, some. I I was getting worked on kind of hard, and I said, Dan, I said, honey, feel this sphere. 
and make sure it's okay. Um, and uh, because I couldn't build up my own energy to put into it as far as through my hands. My hands are warm. I put the spirit into it and then I just showed myself, dude, hello? 90, 90 percent of you out of the body, hello? And then I watched that part of me start putting the energy in the sphere. And then I said, okay. So I went and I controlled what he was putting in. He said, thank you. And then I said, okay. And I felt it. And I, I, I here's the sphere. And I, my hands were like this. I'm going like, okay. So I said, yeah, how does this feel? And she goes, strong. And I'm like, okay, good. It's, but, you know, this stuff is weird for us, even when we've been doing it a long time. But it's so hard for the others to wake up, especially the more um, solar plexus energy they have because seven usually seven eighths three quarters to usually seven eighths of their of their uh of that for of that um, energy field is buried inside the core that you know that's the river of, of energy flowing through the body well it's not going to feel things as much because it's already it's like you know being in a tornado and someone throws you a ping pong ball you know it's like, <laughs> okay i saw something i think you know <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, and they don't know and it makes them it makes it harder for them to understand or feel it <laughs> hey man all i can do is what i can do and i do everything i can do and uh, um i'm okay with that but i want more you know yeah that's why this before i go this scientist thing is important if I don't do it, there's others that will, but it's just hanging in the air. This is something that really needs to happen. Don't worry about it. And mm -hmm. I keep getting a feeling I'll finally get it done. And then, you know, this body dies. Yeah, the results may come up. And then the results come up after I'm gone. I was talking about this, as a matter of fact, in the other video, um, the, the uh, DNA crank up, ICUC, uh, before mm -hmm. this, um, that that's perfect i mean no such thing as perfection right. but that's perfect because i did it the proof is there i'm dead nobody yeah. can make anything about me mm -hmm. right. it's about it right you know like all this stuff i did uh putting myself in that uh uh rehab center oh yeah you know, when you're as sick as i am and in such bad shape and you take over 5500 milligrams of um what, what the hell was it um, um, body food? I don't know. Um, um, uh, seizures. Me metha, um, uh, no, no, it's like a fatigue. Like a bar, bar methyl. Um, Something like that, yeah. You said that many times. I've said it so many times. You used to stop yeah. seizures. Yeah. What? Um, it, it, um, damn it. Oh, that's so stupid. I can't remember. Anyway, it's, it's enough to knock at least three huge elephants down. Yeah. And they say, well, it doesn't stop the heart. Okay, my heart is already trash or, or quit, make the, it won't make yes, the lungs wait. shut down. Mm -hmm. What was it? The lungs uh, are the heart. Well, what's the lungs? And you already have the. Yeah, the lung it, it, it was because yeah. I was getting lungs. Yeah. Uh, it, it, I think it, it, it's made, they changed it uh, so it wouldn't uh, cut down, it wouldn't stop the, uh, the breathing. And I already have lung disease so bad. I mean, I, I have COPD and CLLI, chronic lower lung infections. Those are the number three and the number four cause of death on this planet. <laughs> and you add to that my liver disease, I forget which cause, slow, slow something or other, uh, uh, you know, and all the other issues I have, whatever. Um, uh, that should have taken me out. I, I, I'm seeing it in my head. I, I'll get it before we're done. That word. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to <laughs> Yeah, I swear it's melted something. Um, the name of that drug. Like a yeah, yeah, it's like methabarbital. Oh, you don't know it? Yeah, no, 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 no. the name. It is, that's not it, but it's, uh, um, it's made for seizures. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> give it to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I had it because uh, I'm saving all the animals. Yep. You, you know, when you save yeah. them. Um, but anyway, uh, 
400 milligrams. Oh, I got it. Pina Barbertol. This what? Yes. Pina yes. Barbertol, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Pina Barbertol. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> About 400 milligrams to 500 milligrams. That's what they used to use to, you know, to kill someone. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, uh, they changed it so that it, let, it wouldn't shut down the lungs, lungs, so you kept breathing. Right. But uh, 5,500 plus milligrams when you have all these lung issues. Um, but. It was important I got in there to prove you can talk to a board of psychiatrists, another hospital with doctors, all these social workers saying, look, I not only hear spirit, I talk back to them, we communicate, I move energy around people's brains. I've been doing it for a living for a long time, and Deanna brought down these quantitative electroencephalogram reports, you know. Where Martin Perra, uh, that Martin Perra was so gracious to uh, uh, help me out with, were proven that I can go into someone's brain from across, across whatever, across the Atlantic Ocean, anywhere I want. Um, so, uh, and they just looked at it and they read it. And these are doctors. They like, holy shit! A lot of the doctors like not touching it. Not, yeah, no, not going there. No, the previous yeah. hospital they had color coded, so he was on the purple. <laughs> Yeah. Thing. So I could not bring not even a book, a magazine, the charger because those were the suicidal people, oh, the, yeah. the, the crazy ones. Yeah. So and, and, and see, I, I left, I left, I left, a, I left a what two, three page document explaining what I was doing and why. And that's why when they when they took me out of the when I when they finally said there's no more uh, uh, phenobarbital in your blood, so we're gonna let you go. I said I can't walk yet. I said I'm not staying. I'm not saying I gotta stay here, but I can't walk yet. And they said we're bringing you a walker. I said this won't work. You don't understand. I have no balance. It's like hello in my body, in my body. So uh, uh, so she gave me one. I was starting to lean over here, lean over there. I, I could walk, but. So when I went, so they took me from there into an ambulance down to the uh, uh, rehab center where they do triage on you. The minimum amount of time you can spend in one of those places is five days. If they feel it's necessary, they will lock you up for a year. And without really good lawyers, you don't get out. So I was there eight days because I just happened to be there over New Year's Eve. And all the yeah. doctors, the ones that Crazy. signed the release papers for Christmas, um, okay. they were, yeah, it, it's a, a three-day holiday. Yeah. That New Year's. So, and then as soon as they came back, they said, just let him go. But they had already read all these reports and everything, and they're like, damn. And, they, you know, they're going they're going back and forth, page to page, sitting down with it five to ten minutes, just like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it's, it's, and they're seeing it. They know. they've The quantitative election with cephalogram is a legitimate powerful medical instrument yep this is not a magic box with bullshit <laughs> so now and so that i proved i can do something that other people can't do i i proved that this is new never happened um now this dna thing the only thing more final than that is this being done with an electron microscope okay mm -hmm. but see the thing is and most most everybody that I'm going to be working on, they 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 have diseases. They're dying. Mm -hmm. When I, when I work on someone and I change the DNA, the younger they are, the better results. Uh, you know, the the less you know drugs they're consuming, the better the results. The better the nutrition they're having, the better the results. Okay, it's like you. You're cleaning your body. You know, it all, it all goes on and off. And we all have uh -huh. fun. I. I, I never, never drink, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, things in moderation are fine. Uh, do we have seven more bottles of that downstairs? No. Uh, yeah, R, R, R. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, the younger and more nutritious and everything the body is cleaner, the more affected, you know, the more receptive it is. But when people have diseases, they're usually not eating good and everything. It's going to be harder. And they're on some drugs. And, and they're on some strong drugs for the, you know, for that. But there's going to be a small control group. Um, 
So uh, we're waiting for that to happen. It'll be made to happen before I go. Um, the other folks have cranked up and everything. They're they're the ones that are going to be putting the me uh, into the prime time uh, media, and they're good because because one person isn't doing it. A bunch of them. Right. Nobody tries to make a new religion. Nobody tries to be stupid. Anytime anyone gives any praise to anything, they're putting themselves down. Yeah. They're they're, they're trying to deny their equality and. They can do whatever they want, but they're still equal. We're all equal. Yeah. You know, it's so sad. I had some guys give me a hard time once. You know, they were darker skinned about me and my overalls, saying, I think that's a redneck. Two guys talking to each other in the parking lot. I walked out. I said, Sit, yeah, bitch. <laughs> what? I said, I'm from Long Island. I like overalls. Why don't you get a pair? They're comfortable. Yeah. And they're like looking at me like I said, man, you'll rock. Take care, I love you. Uh, you know, and they're like, what the fuck was? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> they expected that, you know, the mentality from 50 years ago. Yeah. You know, there's been all kinds of bad stuff that's happened. That one video I did about what it was like to be a slave, and then I didn't even know the Dutch were so big on it. But like I said in the video, first time I put it out, years ago, years ago, about, you know, being taken by some Dutch guys and then the whole group. We, we had some festivals, a festival of life and fruition yeah. and everything. And the water, it's when the water comes down to Africa and everything comes alive again. So we have a big thing. There's some kind of uh, stuff they grind up. The witch doctor grinds up berries and stuff, but it's, uh, it's like an acid trip. You know, so you 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 hallucinate. Um, well, he puts. I bought it now, I have no idea what it was. I did just uh, darker berries, darker black blackish berries. Um, but anyway, um, they put that in there. But then they put some frog crap in there. So it's like a frog type shit. Oh yeah, that's yeah. And it's poison. Mm -hmm. And then the, I remember the witch doctor telling the chief. The chief told the Dutch, "You keep these people in shackles on top." on the top deck of the ship because when they wake up they are all gonna puke so bad and we did we thought we were dying we we were at a festival everything was wonderful and then we woke up in irons and i was the biggest bad son of a bitch in the tribe and i they said oh i'll, I'll kick your ass and i kept trying to do it they kept beating the shit out of me um they would literally take me and throw me down in the hold of the ship yeah the stairs were like this almost straight down and then down the bottom of that ship, I remember when we took off, it was like this. When we finally got there, the water was this deep. Do you think, let me just say this without being too gross. Do you think they let us go top board to take a leak or anything else? No. I remember being a slave. I've been a slave more than anything that's ever been in a body. I understand. And when people understand that, they look at me and I talk to them, they look in my eye. They understand. Yeah. I might not be able to comprehend this. I might not believe it. But this guy knows for some reason he's telling the truth. Yeah. It, there's no yay, Jay! <laughs> you know, people think I'm so arrogant and everything. I'm just the freak. I'm doing my job. I love you. I take care of you. Fuck. Just, you know, wake up. Be you. I'm, I'm getting my ass whooped. I'm whooping my own ass for you. Just please open your eyes, please. You know? <laughs> and uh, it's like I say in the internet, don't believe all that crap. Don't believe me. Wake up, find yourself. But when you, it's like the, the video I put out about, the, I mean, the DVD about uh, um, understanding uh, energy frequencies in her ores. Mm -hmm. I, I've got three pages of charts of all the different colors yeah. and what they represent. And then yeah. as people start seeing ores and they have that information, they look at it and they go, be goddamn, the guy's right. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and it, I'm not ranking on them, but it's just, uh, I'm just trying so hard, you know. I just want everyone to be free in who they are and know it. Be left alone. And, and, and yeah, and be left alone by shit bugging them. And it, that's all coming about, man. I've been working my fat, tired ass off. <laughs> <laughs>
it's so it's so funny when Deanna finally saw me. You know, with this um, liver disease I have, my stomach, the abdomen just coming out. Uh, you know, it's like I'm pregnant or something. She looks at me and she goes, "God damn, I didn't do that." You know, my kids. <laughs> like, I'm glad I know you're the one pregnant. Well, yeah. that was, but... And your legs swell so... up, and you know, and I've got I've got so many problems, diabetes, trying to kick in. But you know, it's no big deal. Deanna gets mad. She's like, son of a bitch, why don't they just give you that? I said, hey, it's cool. You know? It doesn't matter. I'm fine. Um, I get my wine. I have a beautiful woman to kick my ass whenever she thinks it's necessary. Uh, I get to go to movies, buy DVDs. I have lots of stones, okay? Do yeah. Stones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, hey, guess what? We just went down to some place. Uh, um, there's this one little section of land. That's the Dragon Egg Star S and I, you know, whatever location, mine, whatever you want to call it. And I, we're driving up, and I kept going a little further than normal. And I'm saying, look at the size of the fucking rock. Deanna gets out of the car, out of the truck, goes <laughs> right to it. Excuse me, that crystal Dragon Egg Star S and I, that huge crystal, 66 pounder. I'm not sure, but I think this son of a bitch weighs 100 pounds. I, I couldn't quite lift it. We couldn't lift it up together. She's stronger than she looks, and of course, I am sick, okay, but I'm still strong. Um, I, I bought a couple of come-alongs <laughs> and some 2 by 12s and I'm going back down there to get it. To yeah. Like, you yeah. Know you're <laughs> yeah, that man, I'm telling you. Yeah. Like, that, that, she, she, your, no, your back is more important than that stone. Please, let it go. Let it go. It was too heavy, and I have a really bad back, so I cannot really help on that. And I said, screw you, I'm going to do this. And like, then, no, I, 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 and then I woke up a couple minutes later on the ground. She hit me with a two by four. And now, no, no, I, I hit I'm you gonna, with that rug. Yeah. I, I, what? I, I wish you could have done that. We could have put it in there. This thing is huge. <clears throat> so then Deanna was like, leave it. I said, no, this is this is part of the spiritual foundation. Yeah. And it, yeah. Yeah. But... Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, let's do something. Honey, please hand me uh, the, the last uh, <clears throat> Is it here? I think it's in the bedroom. Uh, okay. Like Did you I get it? I think it's in my bedroom. I'm, I, you know, it's funny. I say my bedroom. When Deanna looks at me like, "Excuse me, it's my house." <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, Alex. What were you saying? Did you get the um the dragon egg? Oh, uh, the, the great big one. I have to go back and get it. But oh, the other one. Yeah, I got. As okay. a matter of fact, Michael Dex is so cool. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> Michelle Davis. You know. Michelle Davis, I got a lawsuit against her. Yeah, yeah. Um, her lawyer said, my, my client is so, Michelle Davis, my client is so gracious that we're going to allow you to buy that crystal back for 28000 or something like $20,000 or something. I forget what. And then I told my lawyers, I showed them a picture of it. I said, um, she went ahead, uh, uh, Michael Dex gave her a $400 donation she shipped it out to him and gave it to him, and he shipped it to me. So it's already in my property, in my personal, you know, I, it's here in my house right here. So I said, how the hell is she going to give it to me for whatever amount, 20000 whatever it was, I don't know. Um, it's a lot of money. I, how the hell is she going to give it to me when I own it? I mean, she, everything about her is a farce. And she's going down. And she's no longer source. You, you look at Michelle M. Davis, she is no yeah. longer source. Yeah. So, and it's, you know me, there's nothing wrong with soul. Soul right. is some of the most beautiful energy there is. It, but you, you, yeah. you like source over soul, don't you? You mean the other? Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> she says, I'm sick of source. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but maybe you would like to explain why she's no longer source, because uh, people may be like, how come you can be something and then not? Oh, the uh, yeah, I, I, well, I just pulled it out of her. Is, yeah. I should have said that. Um, and screw me uh, and, and see this whole thing with spiritual symposiums.com I, I bought the spiritual foundation.com I already had it but it was not time to do crap with that she wasn't getting her hands on it um, and so I knew it was for later it was for Deanna yeah. it's a foundation because people are going to be bringing unlimited amounts of money into it um, to help other people and don't be surprised if the rock doesn't eventually get involved he might he might not um he's the rock is family he's got incredible heart yeah. he's an awesome man 
he, he has, if, if people know the compassion that Rock has, well, yeah. a lot of them know it now that he's been doing movies. <clears throat> yeah. He cares. Mm -hmm. Is he tough? Yeah. Is he a badass? Yeah, but he's got heart. Yeah. That's the baddest part of him. Mm -hmm. Heart's power, man. It's a muscle. So, uh, yeah, she likes she likes the muscles. Why do you know I have such a hard taste on muscle? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm having some fun, but I'm going to pay for this. <laughs> Let's keep this video going for about seven hours. Yeah. I, I'm not ready to die yet, or at least. That's just this. She wouldn't let me die. She just keeps beating me. <laughs> but uh, um, so this other piece, though, is huge. Man, so I, I, anyway, to, to, about Michelle, I, I, this was her last shot, her last chance, and she had to make everything about herself, and so, uh, and after all this stuff, putting, oh, I'm, I'm proving, I'm, it's, it's in court, uh, in 2014 and 2015, literally, what, why, what I did went into her bank account that my name is not on, I can't just, how much is in there, let me have some, screw you. An expense card to pay for gas? Yeah, I had that. Wow. You know, I made two hundred twenty over two hundred twenty thousand dollars for total in twenty fourteen and twenty fifteen. Went right to her, not me. My name was not on the account. She can try to insinuate that it was. So she she's created. She's actually done a couple. You know, created a couple of federal offense issues. I mean, she's screwed. Um, the big one is Western Union. And that's another reason why this DNA thing is going to come out. Yeah. And Dan is in charge of that. Paul is right there with her. And they're going to just attack like a son of a bitch, prove that it's real, sue the hell out of Western Union, uh, split the money, and uh, have a good time. Yeah. You know, um, this is about making sure there's a way for everyone to help get uh, the help they need to become themselves. Yeah. It's so simple. It's as simple as an old man in overalls. You know, I, I say that a lot because it's true. It's like when I tell people I love them, I do. I care. If you're made to protect, you develop a feeling of compassion and love for others. And they usually develop the same thing for you because they see you, you know, trying to help them, take care of them. Yeah. It's, it's, there's, there's no self in there whatsoever. You know, it's like when, when I get home, uh, myself and a few of the lilies, mostly a uh, tiger lily, um, going to be running things. And we're going to learn how to run things, and we're going to screw up. And the whole time we're doing it, the other, th this other council of all the different fields of spirit, they're watching us. Yep. So, and they'll watch us screw up. Fine, good. They don't have to make the same mistake. Where's the problem? Don't say it. <laughs> You know, but you have to be perfect. Fuck, yeah. are, you nuts? are you nuts? Yeah. Perfection is the desire to drive yourself crazy, never succeed, and just beat the frack out of your head into a concrete wall. No such thing. Self improvement, well, awesome. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wise guy. Yes. Now, now this, now this, this is a. Uh, I know. Did you drink my wine? No. Osmosis? No, no, Osmosis. no. Osmosis, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what that can means. What more? Honey, can, there's no more? Yes, downstairs. Oh, it's empty. Yeah, I wonder what happened. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn it, I hate it when that happens. Um, <laughs> Alright, now, uh, this is that Atlantis Crystal. Relax. Use your heart to feel what's inside it and just see for yourself what's inside it. Just relax, look at it, recognize it, just relax, close your eyes, whatever. Open, okay, your heart's already in it. Just yeah. feel, yeah, feel what's in there. Just open up your heart like it already is. Okay, now you're going deeper into it. And what do you feel or who do you feel inside or uh, what's going on? Look at it, 
feel it, talk to it? <laughs> I don't want to. Can I say I feel you? Well, yes, because I'm in it. <clears throat> I'm in it. That's the whole thing. Deanna will, when she gets back up here, she'll tell it. Um, is it one or two or me, or is it four or five, or is there something? What what what's in? It? Tr separate the individual inside it or individuals inside it. Phil, two. There's two. This is this is part of the original um, crystal um, uh, pit. Yeah, crystal pit from Atlantis. And I literally, when I was a red atom, the first time I was here, five uh, five point. Uh, holy crap! My head. I can't. Um, my head's locked up. Ten point five seven two million years ago, um, mm -hmm. uh, I came here as a red atom in Atlantis. It, it's, it, it's it doesn't give you that time that date. But it's in uh, uh, Edgar Casey's Atlantis. Um, uh, I was a red atom, and I literally made I transmutated these crystals. This is one of them that was in the pit. But recently, when I had it here, I put myself now into it. I broke off a piece of myself, put it in there. So there's the original red atom. That's me, and plus there's also part of me in there. So there's like yeah. two me's, you know. They never <clears throat> argue. I don't know how they do that. <laughs> uh, they call, where I got this was a phoenix and dragon. They mm -hmm. called it the lightning strike crystal because of this over here, like lightning struck it. The pit was fired up so hard. There was a thousand of Danics over here, a thousand of Danics over there. They were fighting. And I was about, whatever, less than 50 foot, 30, 34 foot away from the actual pit while it was still firing. It was still running energy. And then with all this fighting going on, these uh, the metaphysical energy involved, all the Adamics, we were 12 strand or more. I was, I made my own body. I was me. I was a freak. I was actually who I really am. I was Ara. It, it, that made its own physical body. So I was just ridiculous. Um, so anyway, um, with, with me having got the pit going, and then everyone else was fighting their energy, it overheated the pit. See, on, on, on the crystal pit, the way it worked, there was... Uh, crystals that were like this uh, kind of like in a cone shape with an opening and then mm -hmm. there were longer crystals that went down low and into the ground then a hole and then a very special crystal over the bottom of the hole and there was literally a hole drilled all the way through the crust into the magma it got it got uh, atomic energy from the planet okay and then uh, over the top part over here the smaller the, the length was smaller but and they were still in a cone shape in Verticom, the opening there, there's a crystal held there that got sunlight. And the two of them came together and created an incredibly powerful energy. Well, where the two pieces came together like this, these were like this all the way around the tube, aiming a little bit up. So they were balancers. Like a radio? Like a, yeah, like a regulator for the two different types of energy. The uh, solar energy, so the solar um uh, radioactive material uh, energy and then the earthen from the magma that that energy it's radioactive or something so anyway these things regulated it well with the fight going on and this thing was already cranked up anyway and I was right there my energy was cranking up it was like <laughs> damn and I was standing there near the pit because nobody was gonna get there they could kill themselves to death or just run them over and come on up come on bitches come on <laughs> you know, no problem so, but all that energy, all of a sudden, I heard the pit going, like that just, it was really hard, and then BAM! And this thing flew off and landed so close to me, I took a step and a half, and I just picked it up out of the ground, I looked at it, and I said, holy shit. So anyway, it, it, it's got part of me in it. Yeah. So they uh, they wanted almost $4,000 for this crystal, but it still cost me three. No, but... Okay. Well, it's yours. Here, do do what. <laughs> bye, bye. No, bye. hey, hey. <laughs> you notice she was going for the butt of the crystal, okay? <laughs> hey, which one? Oh, you opened it already? Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, you can teach a monkey tricks, but I thought if Ellen had said that, she might hit me. Oh, did I say that? <laughs> yeah. She says yes. 
<laughs> Your calendar of days to live are getting shorter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's an extra note on my notebook. Yeah. <laughs> but no, Alex felt, honey, Alex felt both of them. What did he feel? And he looked at it, he was feeling inside the energy, using his heart, and I said, what's in there? And he goes, this is kind of crazy, but, or whatever, but you. Oh, that's I, awesome, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. And then, then, then it's like, you know, and I was trying to get a look deeper in it, and it's like, he said, there are two of us. And, you know, yeah, it is. That's nice. Wow, good job. Yeah, <laughs> I guess, I guess it's not... Uh, you know, I don't want to put out the wrong image talking about myself, but it's that's what's inside there. And for this spiritual foundation, it's important. I saw that. That's amazing. You know, um, <clears throat> remember when you were talking about the crystal skulls and you said there's going to be one more made? There's one more that has to be made. And I, yeah. um, all right, my, I was talking to myself saying kibosh. It's like there's no net, there's no reason for it. Um, they're kind of honestly. There kind of still is, but uh, what's going to have to happen is that crystal's going to have to be laid down somewhere, and then while I'm at a body, I'll just raise it and, you know, build a skull out of it. What would be the purpose for that? Wouldn't it be funny if it had overalls and big hair? <laughs> 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 and, you know, four of those skulls came from another planet. From well, Excuse me, from other planets. And, and you know, they, 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 these are the ones that the real. These are the ones that count as far as being the ones that had to be put together. And there's twelve skulls that go over here, and then a new one uh, goes in the middle, and then literally it gets activated. And it's I'm sorry, I'm not trying to talk about myself. It's me that does it. Activates that, and then the other ones activate, and then it's a portal. It's an open portal where you can sit around it, relax. Just extend your spirit into that portal. It's like a column of energy. You just extend yourself into it, and you just say where you want to go. So it's yeah. a, a two for us for projection. Yeah, and you actual project right where you want to go to see. It's for learning. Why the skulls holds the brain knowledge, <laughs> knowledge container. Hello, <laughs> you know. I was talking with some folks about that stuff and said, "Wow, you really had me freaked out until that uh, tsunami didn't come." When I talked about the 8 11, 11 tsunami, I saw it happening. I knew I had to talk about it, this, this, and that. And, uh, the Palladian got involved in it. I had to tell two people, Greg Braden's uh, folks, and then this other gentleman from NASA. Yeah. The Palladians. The Palladians got involved. Uh, I, I don't want, I'm not talking bad about the Andromedians, but they're, they're, they're more about doing things with a heart. Now, every time I say that, they're, they're not coming to me now. <laughs> But there's a group in there that are very strong and aggressive and, you know, like the Palladians, most of the Palladians, which, you know, they do the same thing with the heart. They open up and they said, let's go. You know, <laughs> let's do this. Let's create physical action to bring about what's in our hearts. Yeah. And That's if everyone cool. here had just, oh, all it takes is that much. It's like, you've heard me, man, how many times on the videos. I gave you a fracking Ferrari, okay? <laughs> put down the beer and the potato chips, put the key in the car, crank it up. Accelerators on the bottom floor and a right hand side. Push it down a little bit, you know? Maybe they need a note on that. Yeah, really. It, it, it's like, you know, for Pete's sake, it's just, you know, engage. I've had a few people, less than 10, uh, five, six, over the years, say, Jay, I cranked me up, nothing's happened yet. And I looked at him, I, I'm like, them and her, um, I said, if I look at them and I see them not doing anything. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, maybe I'm missing something. Talk to the spirit guide. Say, yo, what's up with this guy? And they ain't doing shit. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then I, I just relax and I take one more third look. And I said, dude, man, you ain't doing crap. You're not using your <laughs> abilities. Okay. What do you expect? Flowers to pop out of your ass? You know, for yeah. peace sake, do something. Use it. Relax. Open up and try. I mean, just. Yeah, I, I, I said I gave you, and this uh, this is where the Ferrari thing came from. I told this guy, man, I gave you a Ferrari. Would you please put the key in it? I can't. I can create, but you have to use it. And I said, and I told people, I said, hey, look, this is a world where you need money, and I'm sorry you had to pay for it. It'd be nice if I never had to charge. 
I did that for the first 800 plus 834 people. Never paid a penny. I wouldn't. I, I got to the point where I let them buy me a cup of coffee. You know, when I did it in person. And then finally, it's like I'm losing everything. As like, sorry, I gotta, you know, I gotta make money. But uh, to do this for someone and change them like that, and this energy is in them forever. Yeah. That's worth thousands, many thousands of dollars. And of yeah. course, I never went there. But it's like, and what I've been doing lately, I've been trying to cut down. It's just like, you know, just folks. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in a process. I not. I don't just want to. I really need to die. Uh, yeah. September first of twenty fifteen. I was so sick, and then uh, um, uh, the last uh, um, event. I was so honored, man. People yeah. spending thousands of dollars of flying from all over the world. I was like, wow. I I, felt, I did tell some of them. I don't know what's the matter with you. I ain't worth it, man. You know, you should have stayed home. I could have sent a video <laughs> for five bucks. How's that? You know, it's. <laughs> <laughs> I said I'm honored, but I just, I, I don't know how to handle that. You know, uh, anyway, um, uh, just trying to get people to understand who they are sometimes is, is so frustrating. But I got, I couldn't even breathe when I got to the event. I, I mean, I, when I got near you, you could hear the gurgling of mucus in my lungs when I'm trying to talk. And Brazil said, you know what? I could hear the bubbles in your lung. I could see the bubbles in your lungs. I could hear them almost come, almost bubbles coming out of your mouth of mucus. You were so sick, pneumonia, just I mean, just crazy. Um, and she said, Jay, when I got near you, I, I, my head hurt. I got so hot, I had to get away. You're still putting out that much energy. Well, yeah, the the, the more you, the closer you come to dying, the more you're out of your body. And I am a total energy litter bug. And I just like, <laughs> um, so as a matter of fact, during that last event, the room started getting a little hot. I wanted to talk to everyone so much and I was so weak. And then a guy came in from, uh, you know, from the Federate, from the Federation yeah. group and he wanted me to talk about the spheres and, um, uh, who are the two that, uh, the couple, they're really cool. They're gonna they're gonna come uh, alive really uh, soon. Luke and uh, yeah, Blair. Luke and Blair. They're really cool. I love them so much. Yeah. Um, they got shut down. Uh, that's fine. They're gonna be doing just fine. They recorded um, a video. As, as a matter of fact, they will be having kids. I I need to go into them, and uh, do to them what we just did. Yeah. They need to have that. Um, but and they're gonna have some kids that are super strong. Um, poor, poor, I was talking with Luke on Skype, and then Blair had just taken the phone, thrown it down, and ran into the bedroom, closed the door, and started crying because Michelle was hammering her. You don't know, Jay's horrible, Jay's horrible. Oh, yeah, I mean, she, Michelle's so screwed anyway. Um, so that just kind of got them to stay away from everything. That's fine, man, it doesn't matter, they're gonna do just fine, you know, it, it's all gonna happen. Yeah. It's all going to happen just fine. It's just, you know, how do people have any faith in something that doesn't make any sense, especially all the stuff I talk about, when they can't even see who they are yet? Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. And so I they have faith in religion when it makes no sense at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're all but sinners and you suck, but if you pay here and come to our church... When we send you to heaven, you don't just get peanuts, you get the full meal. Okay, we're taking <laughs> your first nice class. Deals. But we have to see your W-2 or 4, whatever form it is. Um, how much money do you make? Because you got to pay for this flight, okay? <laughs> Every summer. You want a room with a view? Yeah. <laughs> and who was that idiot that said, I saw a 50-foot Jesus on the way to church today. Quit taking acid. <laughs> you know, whoever that guy was, he kept getting caught with the uh, whores and everything, and, uh, whatever. And you know, love them too. I, it, I'm not picking on anyone. I'm just saying there's this thing with religions, with governments, politics. You have to be perfect. No such thing, man. Right. If people could see and understand who they are, it does so much for them. Um, 
I, I'll say this about myself, and I'm proud to. Um, when I was in that uh, whatever recycling place, you know, um, uh, rehab, <laughs> the rehab center for eight days. Yeah, the rehab, the, the rehab center place for eight days. I helped, I would, the first day I was there, I got hit so hard. I, I still had so much of this stuff embedded. I took so much of that phenobarbital. It was better than my brain tissue and my bones. And, and excuse me, I asked this one doctor there. I said, "I have problems. I have degenerative joint disease. My body is dying, but I shouldn't be in this wheelchair." And I know I'm having problems still thinking. She go, and they said, "How much phenobarbital did you take?" I said, "Well, I know I took 300 milligrams, probably a little more." I couldn't remember. That's the only number that was in my head. I, I couldn't remember. Even after eight, eight, being in a hospital six days and then being in this rehab center for eight, when I came home, it took three to four days before I was really functioning right. And it was two weeks before I actually felt normal again. Yeah. That's because it, it, the one of the doctors down there, she said, what you did, Jay, that stuff, it, it goes into your bones and everything else. And it takes time to come out. We deal with people that have drug issues here, but you have no history of it. You actually left a letter explaining what you did and why. And part of it was this thing about the lawsuit with the house. Mm -hmm. My sister, in my will, there's a clause. It's the special John David Essex Trust Fund. And if anything happens, many, many, many thousands of dollars are in there yeah. to take care of whatever. Jill, my sister Jill, was the, is the executor of the will at this moment. It's about to change. Um, she wouldn't use it. And that was after she used the power of attorney over my mother that she had to not pay the bills that my mother had to pay, which was paying off my house. My father said, hey, you know, uh, we were building a thing back here, having, doing a father-son thing, and he was old and he was sick. And he said, look, I'm just going to pay off your house, you know, because, you know, you've gone through hell. You know, you've worked on all my cars for all these years. You never even would let me pay you. It wasn't until the very end that I let him pay me anything. And that's when I found out that every any time he loaned me a penny or anything else, he was holding it against me. And I said, okay, you have, uh, what, four vehicles I've been working on for, what, 17 years? Yeah, it's time for you to pay me. Yeah, you know, you, you want to pull that? You want to pull that card? Let, let, let's, let's take a look at it. Well, there was no record of it. So, and I said, whatever, Dad, I love you. I don't care about your money. I told him, I said, spend your money. You worked, you worked hard to get it. He started selling typewriters for IBM, and then he wound up a VP, a very big man at IBM. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, so instead of paying off the house, he got a loan on it. So then when he died all of a sudden, then my mother was responsible for paying the loan. Now, these are millionaires. Yeah. Okay, millionaires. They're not hurting. So, um, <laughs> yeah, at all. And my house note was a little over 100 grand. So it's like, okay, this is like, you know, let me get my wallet out, you know? Uh, so anyway, uh, and then Jill took over power attorney over my mother and she quit paying the, the house note. It's like, screw you. She and I have always, my father would have these IBM parties all the yeah. time. I was like 10, 11 years, 10 and a half years old. I wasn't quite 11. I was making, I learned, my father told me how to make two drinks for his IBM party. Um, it was the Manhattan and the the, the sweet one, um, the martini and the Manhattan. That's what it is. Two different types of vermouth. That's what, and I made it for people. I was a little kid. I'm over here making these drinks. Yeah. This guy from Japan came up. You know, my father was a big man with IBM. He flew all over the world all the time, you know, doing market forecasting and stuff. And this guy from Japan came up with a couple things. He gave my dad a calculator that was literally three times the thickness of a credit card. This is, this, okay, I'm 61. Yeah. And I wasn't even 11 then, so this is 50 years ago, half a century. The Japanese very much up on that. So uh, uh, he gave that to my father as a toy, and I looked at it, and I said, holy crap. And then, and then he showed, and then uh, there's an American company that sent a bill, sent a, a drill, drill bit to Japan and said, okay, let's see if make something smaller than this. And the Japanese said nothing. They just sent the drill bit back. And the American company's like, what the hell? Because the Japanese were known for making stuff minute and everything and being very spe specific, scientific about things. And then they took a real good look at the drill bit, and in the back, in the butt of the drill bit, 
of the drill bit, the back of it, there was 50 little holes drilled. What? <laughs> that is the coolest way to say screw you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. so anyway, whatever. Um, she would kick me in the nuts anytime she could. And, and then I'd stand up. I'm, I'd go running after her. And my dad would grab a hold of me because I was yelling, knock the hell out of me. And I said, you don't care that she just kicked my whatever up through my throat. He goes, no, I don't. You would make a noise. Uh, wow. But, you know, that was his... Uh, showmanship time and everything, Jill knew it. But anyway, she's always been a pain in the ass or worse. Um, and uh, this time she's going down. You know, she, she caused the foreclosure on my house two and a half hours away from my, my house being stolen from me, me being put on the street with my animals and everything I own, any way to make a living. I managed to get a, a chapter 13 on it, which eventually got dissolved because they didn't know anyone anything. Uh, but everything was happening in a way where everything's coming through now. Now, she's screwed. I just got another, uh, you haven't made your payment, <clears throat> and uh, you're, in, uh, 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 you're in fault uh, for foreclosure again. But see, after, when I went to bankruptcy, when I went to uh, bank, when I got the Chapter 13 bankruptcy started, see, I had to go to New York and get a, and uh, my, um, uh, legal companies, they got a hold of a good uh, uh, judge or something, whatever, and they said, look, this is the will, this this man is supposed to be protected and everything, this, his sister's trying to screw the hell out of him, this man is dying, here's the, here's the medical reports, this man is dying, um, he's a vet, I mean, he's being railroad, and that judge got pissed, said, you give him that chapter 13, well, he doesn't have any else, then give him the chapter 13. You know, so that saved my house. And then later on, I'm, it got dropped because I didn't know anyone any money. But uh, <clears throat> that's, that was a year ago. And guess what? O over a year ago, uh, now, well, now she still won't pay the bills. She's screwed. On so many fronts, she's screwed. So, uh, so she... She used the power of attorney over my mother to quit paying the bills. She she put herself in my mom's bank account, not not as a trustee. She made my mother sign her onto the bank account, which literally gave Jill uh, on a larger checking account that my mom checking account that my mom had, a lot of money. My parents are millionaires. That's the big checking account. My mom told me I don't know why I did that, but I had to because Jill was going to put me in a nursing home. And Dad built this house for me. They got a, their their house, the one that Jill's living in now, which I own half of. They're tearing it apart. Her and her daughter and two grandkids and two dogs. Um, they destroyed it. The, the, it's got a big kidney bean shape built in pool. The curved slide diving board. You know, three three tiers of patios by the pool. You know, big big columns out in front of the house. The the master bathroom is so big, you can have thirty people in there having a party. That's so big. It's like six things. Like, how many faces you got? You know? Mm. It's like, <laughs> like, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> it's a, the the, the, uh, the um, Greek type round marble tub with the columns in it and the chandelier. You know, it's like, really? You know? <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's all going to come to a close. And so she's done everything. She did everything she could put me in the street. And then didn't use a special provision in the will, not because the will states my house gets paid off immediately. So not only did she not make the payments with the power of attorney, not only did she, <laughs> not only did she try to put me in the street, not only did she steal my mother's money, and then she won't use the special John David Essex trust fund my dad left me to pay the bill anyway. Four counts. She's fracked. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's nasty. She came up to me, give me a hard time. I felt strong energy from her. I looked at her, and I saw the original first being um, female. Pump her up with energy. And I'm like, okay, I can fix that. <laughs> no problem, God. You know, and so many people have such a hard time, Alex, you know, understanding what I do and everything. And yeah. This guy's full of shit. Hey, man, I, love you. <laughs> I don't care what you think about me. It's not important. It's not that I don't care at all, but it's not important. I have a job to do. Yeah. It's like you've heard me use the analogy. If you go up to a fireman and you tell him you're not you put, you're holding a hose right, put the fire out, he's going to look at you like, frack you, dude, and whatever. Just move aside. I'm busy. 
<laughs> you know, it's, <laughs> I love everyone, man. It, it's uh, every once in a while, Gaia or part of my own energy work in my brain, and then I literally release this wall that I have to keep me from feeling everything yeah. I'm feeling out in the field, which is everything. And I, I can't do the boo-hoo thing, but I just literally sit there, can hardly breathe, and my eyes pour like the Chattahoochee River, man. Um, love? Yeah, I have love. That's what I used to make my decisions to protect. And I don't care what people think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is I do what I need to to take care of what I'm responsible for, and that's literally everything. Yeah. That's all that matters is that I keep my mop clean. That's all that matters, man. I just you have, uh, have to keep it dirty because you keep using it. Well, it, 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 it keeps getting dirty, but yeah, um, <laughs> I, I'm anxious just to be free and to be me again. Now that I'm getting closer to leaving, um, I'm starting to see more about being out of my body, which is, you know, kind of cool, man. I, I just, you know, people think that because they can feel something when they're, in a, when they're in a body, they think, oh, I can't ever be out of a body because this is so important. It has to be like this. And it's like, no, you don't understand. It, it's like the recent analogy I've used. You take a tuning fork, you yeah. smack it a little bit, you hear it, it's fine, you stick it in molasses, what happens? Well, you're not. <laughs> Yep. That's what it's like being in a body. The feelings that they have, love, the, the thought, the feeling, oh, let's just say it, orgasm, you know, between people, that feeling of intense love like that, when you're not in a body, holy crap, it's a good thing you're not in one because it would blow up. Yeah. That's the beauty of what's out there, of who you really are. And then when you're in a body, wow, talk about a special moment. I mean, that's that's a unique experience, a unique um, gathering of a physical body, some spirit from the planet, and yourself inside a body. And all these body, you know, these uh, um, planetary uh, uh, essence pieces that, you know, different individual ones that are put in the body, they've been abused worse than us. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why uh, most people that I know of, they think that they say that their favorite part of the day is when they're sleeping because they're dreaming and they get away from. That's an actual projection. They get out of the body. And a lot of, most people don't remember crap. And they say, Jay, I want to remember. I said, well, honestly, that's kind of up to you because we're locked in here with the two energy, the two spirits, excuse me, sentient energy, the one from that originally came from Gaia, a little over 11 and a quarter million, about 11 and a quarter million years ago. And then there's you in there. And you know what? When you get a chance, you want to get the frack out of there. You want to go. You want to explore. Yeah. So when you, when you sleep, a lot of you comes out and throws beautiful compassion all over the place in space. You go flying, you'll go uh, out into the solar system, um, a third to three quarters of the way through it, and you just open up your energy, your compassion, and let it flow. That's why you're so popular out there. <clears throat> Jay, there was one dream I had like like four years ago or whatever, that it, I could see a drop, I seen a drop. And I don't know if I was with him. Like, I was with him, but we were like... You were talking with him. He's been, he was the last life you all had together. He was your younger brother. Brother, younger brother. Uh, yeah, but see, I saw it good because she saw it first. <laughs> we're all family, man. The Drock, they're strong. Their DNA literally is what I made when I made that body. And Lily, I told Lily after the first life, and Lily and I, listen, 10 hours later, according to Gayra time, which is a lot more than what it is here, um, I, we, we connected eyes as our heads were severed and body parts were flying. We, for that last moment before the bodies died, we looked at each other, felt love, remorse, fear, everything. I got out of that body, I was just, meh. I went, that was my first life. I was small, but I was powerful as hell. I went up to the original first female and female. It's like going, bam! What the frack is And I didn't say frack. It's the matter with you. How dare you? And then they just looked at each other. And I'm like, okay, we're going to change this, change this, change that. And I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't say anything. He's like, okay. I said, honey, come here. I said, next body, just follow me. Follow my lead. And I made the biggest, baddest damn son of a bitch energy that could ever be a body made out of. That's the Drock race. 
That's why when they, okay, I don't want to say, um, trying by hell not to say that, and I'm pushing myself into it. Uh, this other drug family member, when he came up and, and said hi, he comes up, he goes on one knee and puts his right fist on the ground yeah. and says, Father, because they know, and that ain't because of Jay. Yeah. <laughs> they know, you know? Yeah. That's embarrassing to say, and that, that that's I'm going to air it. People say, oh, he's arrogant. Love you, fuck you, you know? Um, it just is what it is. Make up your mind and just keep going. Yeah, but, like you know, people need to not dwell on me. Yeah. yeah it's just a gesture it, it, of respect. It is. It it's is. Not, it's it's, it's a respect. Respect. It's a family. And yeah. I do the exact same thing to them. Yeah. I'm no better than a... I'm no better than a stick and a turd, man. You know, <laughs> we're all the, we're all the same. I know it's so gross, but I mean, the, the point needs to be made. You know, <laughs> I can be a little rough on other people, but wait till you see me kick my own ass. <laughs> I think a couple times that I've almost never said that, but I said stick and shit. Um, <laughs> yeah. It just, it just is. When something exists, it has rights. Yeah. Period. And if I don't, if I'm not that basic and tr honest and truthful about everything, where's that solid foundation to build this beautiful building off of? Uh, it doesn't exist. Yeah, I have, it has rights, but not yeah. the right to go kicking everybody else. That's the difference. Yeah, that's enough of this abuse shit. Um, I, 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 like I said earlier, I can't, I can't, I can't look at this stuff with the animals suffering. That you know, that the end can handle that. I can't. I know when to fix it. I can't dwell on it because it'll totally frack me out of doing what I need to before I leave, and I'm finishing everything up now. Yeah. Yeah, handle it the best way I can. I yeah. went through a three months. Uh, but it's depression. easier for you to handle that, you know. You know, she's sourced, but she's more. I don't It just happened. She, her, and her spirit mate, they're more of uh, animal essence oh. than they are the other. You know, there's a higher percentage of animal essence than the other ones. Um, some judge I'm looking at a male a male judge uh, looking at the case with Jill, and he's looking at it and he's not understanding, and um, he's just just like. She won't do anything. Mm -hmm. um, she's not, she'll never do anything. It's like, and he kind of, he has this look on his face. It's like a grin, but it's not. It, it's like the, the word that comes to mind is sick bitch. Mm -hmm. Okay, two words. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a hyphen in there, just kind of make a one. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. I was going to let it all go. Just pay the house off and everything else, and she tries to put me in the street. I like, what? I'm not giving you any money. I said, I have my own fucking fun, trust fund in my name. I, You're going to die. It's mine. Yeah, it's like, wow. I own half the house, my parents' house that she's living in, and then she took everything I had and gave it away to other family members and threw it away. Wouldn't let me in the house to get it. Some, some people are just so sick. And, and you know what? Let's take my little petty shit, throw it aside for a minute. It's big to me, but whatever. Let's look at creation as petty. Um, these crazy cartels and everything else, torture, everything going on everywhere. That's going to stop. Yeah. As sure as this old farts were in overalls, that's just going to stop. Sometimes, especially some, it's only a couple guys, but sometimes they get mad that I say this stuff, and they get a feeling like, who the hell does he have the right to do that when that should be me? <laughs> we are what we are. I'm a janitor. I'm really strong. That's my job. I do it. So these these folks don't understand that, you know, instead of there's, there's not even five of them. Instead of being like that, why don't you become yourself Find out more about yourself and be yourself. Understand more. Become more aware. Fracking be you, the yeah. real you. It's like that guy that 
C.W. Carruthers or something, Carruthers, Carruthers, uh, whatever, schmuck. I tried to help him with something, he kept trying to attack me, and I, so I slammed him a little harder, mm -hmm. and that poor Jason, uh, Jordan Womble. Yeah. And, um, he just came out of nowhere and just attacked me. He, he had problems. He was a little bit insta unstable. And then when it was time to meet, for me to go, seriously go, uh, October, <coughs> October 28th of 2015. Uh, I think so. Was it King Guru something, something like yeah, that? Yeah, he called himself yeah. King Gufu Dragon Goofy. God. Mm -hmm. No, King Dragon God Gufu or something, whatever. <laughs> um, the poor guy, I went into him into his head. When I when I heard about what he's doing, I said, I feel sad. I have a love for him. Sorry, it's what I do. Uh, if I don't love something and care about it, how the hell am I going to protect it? How the hell am I going to do my job if I don't care? I can't. It's a normal process. That's why Archangel Michael is so fracking cool. And as soon as this body's dead, he's free. And he's been my brother forever. Yeah, yeah, Lucifer is pretty cool too, but he's he, he's got more lower frequencies, but he had to be that way, and you know all okay. that crap's in book one, but um, yeah, no, it's not crap, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and you know, you know, Alex, <laughs> we know each other really well. I'm so tired of doing this. I, I'm done. I need to go. I need to move forward, and it's just a matter of uh, putting together little stuff here, legal stuff. I told Deanna that, uh, you know, I'm doing a, um, getting her squared away in the house and everything else. And I said, uh, my friend Nick, I was going to give him my beat up truck. And I said, ah, no, I need not to because, you know, Deanna's going to need it. So I just gave him 800 bucks. You know, just, you know, Nick has done so much for me. I've given him almost every tool I own and everything else that I have left. Uh, we're brothers. He's religious. But uh, so what? I used to be, you know. Um, uh, and he's starting to understand stuff, and uh, like he said, he's like, my buddy Jay, my brother, I, something about him is just real as hell. He's not ready to give up religion, and that's cool. But, and, you know, we have our differences, doesn't matter. He understands. You know, you can feel the love in my heart, and he's got love in his heart, too. Um, but it, it's so funny, his friend, uh, who's going to be uh, doing some electric, electrical work for you, honey, John. Oh, um, yeah. John, yeah, John, I took John and Nick out to lunch. And John was going, uh, I was just coming in from uh, getting some more veggies. You know, it's a buffet thing. Uh, veggies and the fruit's pretty good. But it, <laughs> yeah, the fruit's, pre the fruit's pretty good, but it, it's just too much of the grind on the melons and stuff. Uh, as uh, my last life, when I was in Gandhi's body, I was a fruitarian. The first time I talked about it, I said, fruitarian. <laughs> and she goes, I think it's fruitarian. I said, I don't give a frack, whatever. <laughs> You know, um, and I, I walked, just got back to the table. They didn't see me coming around the corner, and John was telling Nick. He goes, John says, I've been checking him out, man. He goes, Nick, there's no way that, 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 that he's not real. And Nick is my buddy, but he's trying to understand. And he's embedded in a religion, so he's trying to understand out of the love of his heart that he has with me that I have for him. He's called me 10 o'clock, quarter to 12 at night. Jay, I got a car I can't fix. And I went down there and fixed it for him. Never wanted a penny. We're brothers, you know? And he's really cool. And uh, so John was telling me, I sat down, Nick and I were talking. Another time, Nick and I went down there, and there was this, we went to the same place. We're sitting down there eating, and I just looked over there, and Nick goes, what is this? So wait a minute. I looked at this lady, they're talking, the lady and his daughter. And the daughter was trying to get mom's attention to get mom to give her some money. And I looked at her, I said, ma'am, I'm sorry, excuse me. And she looked at me, and I said, you're taking off for a cruise, uh, I believe, in December, and you have another one possibly coming up early in the uh, next year. And she looked at me and she goes, how do you know that? I said, I'm seeing you in a nice dress, walking down the steps, coming down, guys looking at you. Well, my husband was like that. I said, ma'am, I'm not saying nothing's going on. I'm just saying you look good. You're coming down the stairs and guys notice you. Please don't go anywhere. I'm telling you what I'm saying. It's kind of like a nice blue dress. And she goes, red dress. And she goes, I'm like, whatever. And she goes, but there is this nice blue one, you know. <laughs> I said, maybe you'll buy that one yeah, you've been uh -huh. looking at. You know, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You know, and then, so then uh, she smiled and her daughter looks at me like, oh, I was in the middle of getting money from my mother and he broke <laughs> it up. You know, she didn't say that, but it's in her head. I'm like, 
damn. So anyway, so then she got up to get something to eat, and I sat there, and Nick looked at me, how do you know that? I said, Nick, I just know it. So then he got up, and he went up to her and started talking to her. You know, when she was at the buffet, there's a whole bunch of buffet tables with stuff up there. And he came back and sat down. He goes, Jay, I just talked to her. And I said, thank you for doing that for my friend, because he really thinks he can see stuff. And she looked at him and said, I don't know who the hell he is for you all. But, and then she, she kind of got pissed, and Nick sat down, and Nick was like, Jay, I just did this and that. She, I said, yeah, Nick. How many years have I been, have we been friends? I don't lie. You know that. That's the one thing you can count on for me above everything else. I don't lie, and I'll be there for you when you need me. And he goes, Jay, this is weird. And I said, oh, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> I can't talk to him about stuff attacking and coming in and stuff, you know, it's insane. Yeah, the, the normal way of thinking, but the normal way of thinking is incorrect. Everyone has all these abilities. I just want them to know. First time I told a couple that, you know, that I said, uh, they, well, they're talking about this and that. And they said, you know, excuse me again. Um, I, I, she goes, well, what church are you attached to? You know, I'm like, what? What religion are you? I said, why Why do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't, I don't do religion. It's false. Okay, I don't attach to churches, although lots of times there's a lot of good people going there to them. You know, a church, synagogue, temple, whatever. A lot of people go there with beautiful heart, energy, and they're just trying to find something they know is there and they can't touch. You know, it, it's I, I don't I I said I help people, I tell people what's out there, but I help them become themselves, stronger, and so they can find it for themselves. And this lady looked at me, and the guy was like, "Huh," and she said, "No one else is doing that." And I said, "Okay." <laughs> what do you say? I don't know. <laughs> um. It's been fun having this life and, and doing this to some extent, but honestly, it should have been over a long time ago. I'm late getting home, man. It just stuff over there is so screwed up. Deanna can tell you this. Others I can tell you too. Paul Bershu and the rest of them. The attacks that and and, and what what Deanna sees firsthand because she's right here in that same house with me. Um, the other side now, they're, they're trying to help to get me home to get things done, and they keep screwing up. I'll grab something, clean it, freeze it, store it, bring it back later, and I keep doing it one after the other. It's like, damn it! Yeah. And then finally, Gaia, at one point, how long was it ago, Gaia got the other planets? Two weeks? Uh, no, week? no, 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 no. Four days ago, maybe. No, more than that, that. No, that was when we went and you saw that stone, the big boulder. That's when it was happening. And no! That, no, 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 honey. I'm talking about before that. Um, it was a week ago, but um, um, or somewhere around there. You know, I tend to trust Deanna because she can really see things. Good. I tell him not to. But but but, <laughs> but I cannot keep track of time. It was before this big. And this, how much is you, the thing weighs? A hundred pounds. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean it's huge. Mm -hmm. it, it's crystal dragon egg star S and I. It, it's just like that other one, but it's. <laughs> I said, damn, I said, I'd rather pick my own ass up, throw it in the truck, than that damn stone, okay? <laughs> and I think I'm going on three, I know I'm going on 300. But, uh, um. So you were saying when uh, you had uh, Gaia and other planets get uh, uh, around you? Yeah, Gaia said, watch out for Deanna. She has a knife. No, um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Yeah, Gaia need a knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me better than that. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, uh, um, it uh, we I just gone through something. It, it, honey, it was a few days before that. Um, so I, I, a week. No, uh, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, about that. a week. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. And anyway, I just gone through <laughs> some crap with some other stuff in the other side, and I said that's enough, and I'll go get rid of it. And sometimes. I'll go to literally delete something, and myself outside of the body says no, and takes care of it. And I'm like, get it the hell out of here. Why don't you keep it away from me anyway? It's like, here goes the struggle back and forth. That's how screwed up things are on the other side. And it's my own damn energy. It's part of me that's broken off different parts of uh, what I am. 
I mean, you know, this isn't crying and complaining about something else. It's my own problem. Yeah. But but that's what's going on on the other side right now. It's really screwed up. So I woke up this one morning and Gaia said, that's enough of this shit. Gaia literally was around me, a strong piece of her hanging over me like a... If you can imagine a cartoon where a bell breaks, the person's inside, and it closes down on them. It's like a strong shield you can't get through. She was like that all over me. And then everything else, and then all of a sudden there's all these planets around me. I woke up in the morning, I saw that, felt it, and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, planetary And all, all these planetary essence, they're all hanging around me, telling everything else, stay away. Leave them alone right now. And because there's stuff that, you know, was out there, wanted to make it about them. That almost, I've killed almost all of it. But there's still different parts of me and other stuff that's just trying to do the right thing. They're stupid. They don't know what they're doing. And it's just prolonging my being here. So um, it's fine to get handled. But Deanna come up, she'll see it. You know, uh, sometimes I'm busy like this. And I said, what's going on? I'm seeing. She'll tell me. I said, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Um, it's insane. It's chaos. It's sad. Um, the original first being male and female are the only ones that ever ran alive. And they never, if you don't let anyone drive the bus, you have job security. Yeah. They, they kept giving more of themselves out to, to make other beings and do stuff. They made themselves smaller. They were very strong. Nobody could go in and out of bodies. No one was in, as smart as the original first being male and female. But... Mm -hmm. The thing that I came from, Aromalias, it was more powerful than, powerful than anything else. And of course, uh, it's gone now, except for little teeny pieces. But, man, it's been a nightmare, and all I wanted to do was just go home and fix it. But in the meantime, we have this. Yeah. You know? But, there's a lot of source energy that has not had this upgrade, it's like almost all of it. Which reminds me, we have to get a hold of somebody. Um, a two somebody's. Um, Sean Raj, I didn't do them yet, did I? What? The DNA thing. Yeah, you did. Okay. I'm so glad she's here. I can't remember shit. <laughs> That's scary that he's like, yeah, 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 you did. Yeah, you did. Both of them. You know, it, it's so funny, uh, <laughs> Alex. Uh, my body dying and the brain still getting stronger, you know, it's just like, I'm a wussy. I don't ever stop. The Ener Energizer Bunny rings my doorbell for energy, okay? <laughs> but I'm so tired of this. Did you say your body I don't belong here. stronger? You, you mean your body energy? Yeah, Not my body, yeah, yeah, my energy is stronger, but my body Everybody is just mind. falling apart. They used to take Deanna from the top of the steps, two kicks to throw me to kick me down the steps. Now it's only one. <laughs> How do you think it is? When anymore. she can raise her hand and scare me to go down the steps, I'm killing myself. No. <laughs> hand is my paw. Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice having Deanna here. You know, I love her. I love everyone, but Deanna's special. But at the same time, it's sad that, you know, She'll find me when I'm dead early in the morning and she'll say, Jay, are you okay? And she'll nudge me a little bit and then she'll start kicking me and say, Jay, are you okay? Oh, good. Motherfucker's dead. That's when she starts kicking <laughs> the shit out of me. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, that's a that's a kind of a crummy job, isn't it? I love her. She loves me. You know, I have a love for everyone, but she's special. I have to go through that Everyone's special to me, man. Everyone matters. They don't... Yeah, well, I don't know. I just want people to become alive. I, the words I say, what I tell them, I'm not worried about. They're, they're true. I say, you know, if you're standing at the corner of an intersection, you say, there goes a green Chevy. Okay, the green Chevy. There goes a red Chevy. Um, what the hell's with the Chevys around? Oh, there's a Chevy plant down the road. Uh, whatever. I mean, you see, you, you're just there. All you're doing is talking about what's there. Yeah. And then when people start seeing it for themselves, they understand, okay, this goofy old man in overalls actually knew something. 
and and then when it's proven what I've done for people, they'll understand. And all I want them to do, read the books, get some of the stones and stuff to help themselves. And these spheres, men, are awesome. When you have all these spheres hanging around you at night when you're sleeping, get the fuck in the other bedroom, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's like the room cards and a, a full, you know, full body sphere in there. Uh, you'll get what you're paying for, but there's no telling what else you get. I, I'll be going to town. I'm a little elf, and I work for Santa Claus. <laughs> I don't believe in Christmas, but I believe in Santa Claus. You know. Uh, yeah. It, it, I tell you what, you do. You go. You look on the internet forever and a day. Okay. And you look at the two people that own it. The male, the the, the, the husband and wife. Yeah. They're the spirit that was What's literally the what? Santa Claus forever and a day. Forever what? Forever and a day. Forever and a day. Okay. Hey, Alex, the first time I walked in there, it was funny as hell. I'm walking in there, brought a bunch of stars, and I said, here's some stone fuel, fuel, and the, whoa, 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 this is oh, weird. Oh, oh. And they came in, I started talking with uh, um, uh, the, the wife, I don't want to say the names. Uh, Mrs. The wife. Buzz. Yeah, Mrs. Claus, and uh, and having fun, and then uh, the the Mr. Claus, Santa Claus was there, and I started talking with him. I said, "Hey, man," I said, "You poor guy, you still have those same stomach and ulcer problems and everything." He goes, "Yeah." I said, well, "Believe it or not, you and your wife were Mr. and Mrs. Claus. It's like Upper Scandinavia, and y'all just had a lot of love for people. I could tell you a lot more, but I that has to be off the video. Yeah. You know, um, but." Uh, they were so nice and they help people. And then there's a village not too far away. They, the parents were coming out to meet them. You gave my son a toy. It's a nice toy. You got issues with kids. You like kids. You got, oh my are goodness. you sick? And then they meet them and talk to them. And they say, those people are great. Those people are awesome. And that little village next door, guess what they start doing? Building toys and stuff for kids and giving them away. Hell yeah! Is that rock a lot better than me? Hell yes! Send the love, yeah. send the compassion, watch creation grow. Like they say, sharing is yeah. sharing. Yeah. Huh? And also, and so then we're talking. All of a sudden, this lady walks in, and then she 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 walks into their their store, turns around the corner. I'm like, and she looks at me like this. She goes. What is it? You know, and I said, you have two dogs, you have a collie with you and a German Shepherd jumping up and down, up and down. The lady breaks out crying. That I just lost them both. I said, you didn't lose nothing, honey. They're over here. You know, if they were physical, you'd be having to take a bath. They're slobbering all over you. They love you. Yeah. And, she, and, then, and then she goes, who are you? I said, I'm the janitor. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I do things that draw attention, but I sure as hell don't want it. I have to make certain statements to lead people to where they need to get to find themselves. I'll be dead soon. I can't wait. I got work to do. This body will be out and I'll be out of here. I'm going to make sh stuff so much better for everyone. I, I can't wait. But it was so funny, and then the owner, the two owners looked at me like, we got to get this guy as a reader, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, I, I'm, I'm a self kind of thing, you know. I'm here for something else. Love you, but, you know. <laughs> I've gone into so many different, I call them head shops, because, you know, it's where you go to open up your head, stones yeah. and stuff. And uh, my energy sometimes literally has people, that guy's evil. He's evil, you know, because they get near me, they can feel my energy. It's like, I'm sorry that I fart, you know. What? <laughs> <That's evil>. Yeah, <laughs> it's like they do. It's like, wow, and I'm like, what the hell? So I felt this energy. I felt this energy. I, I've gone into rooms, banquet rooms, a banquet room. It was, uh, it was in Atlanta few years ago, I can't remember what it was, I literally, my energy literally increased the temperature in the room, banquet room, I mean, this thing is huge, everyone in there was hot, and you look at the, you look at the AC units, it showed the actual temperature, and everyone's like, 
this is a, this is a room that would fit 500 people. This is not a little room. Uh, it was so funny, and uh, you know, it, whatever. And me myself, I felt like I was a small son, and it was me inside opening up my energy to crank everyone up while I was there. Free crank ups. So, <laughs> whatever. You know, I just all I want to do is help, but I'm tired. This body needs to drop so I can get free. Yeah. Oh well. I I miss you, man. It's been a long time. Yeah, I know. I, I did say. I wonder how Alex is doing because I don't know. I never like you know like I think he's okay. Like I think he's okay too. That was a little, it was it's a little different than that. She got some vice grips that goes clack 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 clack. Am I going to talk to Alex? Oh, God. Yeah. I can get those hairs. No, no, I'm usually so busy. I don't even have time. I text messages, anything. But it came to my mind. Oh, I was like, you know what? I yeah. wonder how Alex Deanna, is doing. No joke. Deanna is so busy. Um, it's nuts. She does 90 plus percent of everything. I make the spears, put them out. But I'm showing Deanna how to do everything that she mostly about. already knows. No, she doesn't have much to learn. At all. Yeah, the DVD. No, no you don't. Know, how to make the DVDs. Um, how to tumble. That's it. That's all that's left. No, the She's video thing, so I don't see myself making videos. And But yeah, I still have a lot to do. Yeah, she's a wussy when it comes to putting out a video, man. I mean, I want to say another word, but I want to be quiet <laughs> to all the ladies out there. Maybe a bussy when it comes to that. I'm a bussy. <laughs> Alex, have you been a hermit lately? More mm -hmm. so yeah. a hermit because I've been hey, feeling. Alex, your energy is extending out, but you're getting into yourself and growing right now. Because I see him. And you know what? That takes private time. Yeah. yeah is uh, that why you, you that keep I'll... locking me out of the house? <laughs> 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 just a thought. Just a thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that I've felt before. But I was a little bit reluctant to say because I thought you were being She doesn't trust herself and she should. Well, she does trust herself, but not as much as she should. There's, there's a big difference. Well, the thing is that... It's um, your fault we never got to the Bahamas. She goes, what? I'll take you there what? Like this. She goes, oh, that was a good one. That sounded good. Yeah, Maybe I can good. do that again. <laughs> oh. you, excuse me. <laughs> no, the thing is, Alex... A lot of people, they want to be more, or they expect to be more pineal, and I share that same frustration, because when you see an image, you have a complete... Um... I'm sorry, excuse me. Thank you. You have a one? Oh, my goodness. Like you know for, Ow. You know for Ow. sure you're oh. seeing something. Yeah. But to me, I'm not pineal, I'm hard, so <clears throat> it's more like um, intuition, knowing, like a thought, so it's hard to trust if I made it up myself or not. You, mm -hmm. you and Alex both have good pineal, but you're strongest in the heart, and then you're strong in the solar plexus. So it's like an intuition. So the yeah. moment I saw you, I thought he's been being a hermit more than normal lately. Yeah. What is normal though? I mean, like <laughs> normal. Normal, normal, normal scares me. I had a, I had a, I had a <laughs> sticker from a race car. Wait. It said, "Normal people scare <laughs> me." <laughs> not normal, more, more than she you were before. But she's not normal. But I, I feel like my normal is being a hermit, unfortunately. Yes, but but like you've been um, normal. You're starting to learn about yourself, and you're happy there, and you're becoming stronger, and you're becoming yourself, and that keeps you more away from other people. Mm. Yeah, for, for me, that's to be more a uh, hermit than you usually are. Like you're enjoying you being by are. yourself, with yourself, to become yourself. But and maybe, that's what she's saying. Lately, you've been more so. Deanna's got Deanna's got a fuck up here. Okay, she speaks like twenty-seven thousand languages. Yeah. I only speak one, and I, I fucked that up too. So, I, but <laughs> it's easier for me to understand what she's trying to say. Um, and no, it's incredible that all the crap she knows. It's like, damn it, just you know, I, I said, please pass me the vegan pasta, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
But that you, you're just becoming yourself. You're getting stronger. It's all happening. I'm good. I'm um, good. There's some woman that's hard energy, very aggressive though, a nightclub or something, pushing. Um, wanting to get in the middle of it. What I was feeling before is that, uh, I don't know, like a road on night for him. I felt sadness in his heart. So that good kind of, stuff. So the, the, <laughs> the, uh, the, yeah, we got some gem quality road night. Fracking awesome. Slicker than my forehead, okay? <laughs> see here, man. <laughs> Just like my Georgia moonshine, okay? <laughs> Yeah, see, when I when I get out there, you know, and it, we got a full moon, and people say, "Damn it, it's a double full moon!" I, no, it's just Jay. Showing <laughs> <laughs> his butt. Oh, 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 no, that would be a triple full moon. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're getting gross. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, Alex, you have a lot of stuff that's waiting to happen, but first, it's you becoming yourself and open, you know, opening up um, cards. Not using them so much to talk with people, but cards. What's going on with cards? Do you have any rune cards? I got rune cards. I got animal spirit. Okay. Yeah. Steven you got the D book? You got the, you got the DVD? Yeah. yeah. D oh, no, no, not, 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 the, not, the, not, the, um, not, not your DVD for the cards. Okay, good. Okay. We'll send that, too. Okay. Um, oh, I forgot what I was going to do. Same. That's cool. Go ahead and say it because I don't see you hit me before you say it. <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> some hard healing was uh, needed for him. There, I feel like there's some heartache uh, that needs to be taken care of. If, yeah. if there's anything cranking or. That's nah, that, that's, it, that's, it that's, happen, that's like, yeah, okay. that's going to settle itself. Okay. That happens to someone we talked about already that you're away from right now. Huh? Okay. He just won't understand. He can't. He's not able to. Who's he? Oh, the father. Pops. Yeah, yeah she oh. just said father. Yeah. It hurts. It hurts when you go through that, man. My mother, all my life, my adopted mother, it's like she hated me. She didn't. It, it was... She was made to feel jealousy. People were, that was done to It's like, oh, the angels, oh, they're heavenly, La! Oh, you know what? If it's time for you to die, if it's time for you to break your arm, if it's time for you to watch your son or daughter fucking die, excuse me, die in a fire and be tortured and scream, that angel's going to make sure that happens. If it's time for you not to die, they're going to save you. Yeah. And you know what? It's not their fault. They were servants. They were doing what the original first being male and female wanted, and guess what? They are what they became because they were the first being. They became lonely and everything else. They had 27.5% lower frequencies or negativity. Everything happens for a reason. The power to move forward comes from understanding. Yeah. That's what this DNA thing is more than anything else. Seeing and understanding. That's what you're going to offer all your clients. The problem is when you have so many friends because you all love each other. Every time I get a new phone, you know, they put all the contact. You have over 2,000 I know, just put them through. Just yeah. yeah. I don't know how to do it. Here's an extra 20, 40. That. No, you can't pay us. Okay, no problem. I'll leave and I'll throw the money on the counter. Do what you want. Go in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> then oh. I, I went to the cricket store near my house. I cranked four of them up. I was going, to be, going oh. yeah. and Then I walked in, there's a new girl, and I talked to her a little bit again, and she goes, you're that freak they talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to meet you. And I said, you poor thing. <laughs> you know what? I get more friends when they understand that I'm about them. You know, that, I mean, when it, when, Things go so smooth when people figure me out. It's like, damn. The guy doesn't want shit, he gives shit. It's like the FBI and Homeland Security when they came to my house, you know? And this guy from the FBI was so pissed off. 
How do you know that about me? How do you? He's Fruit Loops. He's a carnival act. How the hell did he know that? And the guy from Homeland Security is. Why is this guy a threat? This guy and the, and as soon as he had that thought and said it was so strong, he said it to himself so strong. I got those actual words. Why am I told this guy's a threat? That's when I saw the folder with me on it. It had an orange dot and then a red dot on top of it. The orange dot, but the orange part of this, uh, semi, whatever, was they when they had the orange dot, they put the red dot a little bit to the right side, so it was like a little crescent moon of orange to the left of it. That's my folder with the FBI, or it was. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, he did, he said, I don't, I don't, with the Homeland Security, I'm sorry, and he said, I don't understand. And then the, the thought that came right off of that in his head was, um, and it changes, it's more, it's like a white plate, and then it's got like blue design on it, but sometimes it actually comes in in red, depends on how I'm seeing what part of him is feeling what. Uh, blue is understanding and knowing, red is heart. Um, and I, I, I see an apple pie, a slice of apple pie. Excuse me, and uh, he was saying through his thoughts and image, this guy is as much of a threat as a slice of apple pie on a plate left out overnight. And he he looked at me. He he. We have all your bank reports and you know everything. We watch your money. You get a good bit of money and you give it away. You you live in a shit house. You dress like crap. You have <laughs> money in your bank account. You have homes you've made for animals. You feed them. And 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 why are you? A, why do they consider you a problem? <laughs> Something's wrong. You have. He felt me. He had heart. He felt me. He goes. This guy is no problem. He's an asset. <laughs> you know. I'll he, tell you what. Then I say something else. Yeah. He, he, he talked to the <laughs> FBI guy. He told him to shut the. He didn't tell me shut the fuck up. But he, you know, he was telling me shut up. He said, I, I've had enough here. You got anything else? And he goes, well, what? And he goes, like this. And the guy goes, no. And the FBI said, no. And they left. <laughs> I looked at the FBI guy and said, what, did you drive him, right? You drove him? You're the driver? <laughs> and he was pissed. <laughs> you know, he said, do me a favor. What's your phone number in case we in case we want you to help us with a case? Yeah. He thought he was smart. And I said, it's listed on my website. I said, you don't do no research or what, dude? Yeah, aren't you FBI? Yeah, 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 it's like phone? FBI. What's that? Do you need my phone? You don't have it. I said, here's the phone number. Okay, you know, forget the website. I'm gonna give it to you. <laughs> and we want some of that S tonight. No, that was a guy from uh, um, uh, Homeland Security said we want some of that. We would like to have. He changed and said we'd like to have a. I said no problem. Just a minute. Be right back. I said, look, guys, if you want to run through the house, you can. But it's really rough. I live hard, and you know. I'm, I'm sick. I've been sick for a long time. So anyway, we went inside and I got a piece for each of them and then some more. And I said, here's for you. Here's for, you. for the guy from the FBI. I went to him first. Got the Homeland Security desk. said, this matches your frequencies. And here's some more. And he goes, no, we just want one piece each. And I said, you want to test it? Here, have some more. Because no, no, it's okay. And I said, okay, I'm not trying to push it on you. I'm just trying to help you out. I said, I'm not a son of a bitch. Just don't fuck with me. You know, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> don't make me become one, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and it, it, when, they, when they left, you know, it, it, the guy from the FBI was... He kept saying in his head, Carnival Act, Fruit Loops. <laughs> How did he know that? Those are the kept going through his head like this. Boom, boom. And he's walking down... He's walking down the driveway with the guy from Homeland Security just... The guy from Homeland Security is saying, why? Why am I being told by upstairs that this man is not just dangerous, he's a threat? And then every time I went to go to an airport to go, you know, fly to some other place in the U.S., I never went out of the country um, to do my uh, uh, whatever. I go to one place and I do three, three classes a day. Do, I talk about the Fae, I talk about stones, talk, you know, whatever. I do three classes a day, I do it for one to four days, and I fly home. Every time I did it, the CIA is right over there, you know, they're watching me. It's like, no, oh, you're kidding me. I, I walked in one time, I was going in to go to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. I walk in the airport, I'm walking in there, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I turned, and there was a construction crew over here, and they're all getting stuff done, but they're kind of looking at me. And I'm like, they're getting stuff done, like acting like 
they have hard hats on, all of them. Inside an airport, they have hard hats on, and it's a little bit of floor messed up. And I'm like, and they're not doing anything. I'm like, okay, sounds like government work, you know? So, <laughs> whatever. So, so then I go walking through, and I felt them all looking at me, and I stopped. I turned around and looked at them, and all of them were looking at me. <laughs> Every, there was there was seven of them staring right at me. Two more that stopped and turned around, and looked at me again. I'm like, "You're kidding!" And I went, "You know, <laughs> hi." <laughs> and there was one guy like this. He was like, "Oh, you know, he's a, he's a big bad dude. He's really built and everything." I'm like, "Damn it, you scare me, bitch!" You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I just looked at all of them, and they were all staring at me when I turned around. I waved. I went walking on. I started going down the elevator, whatever, not the, whatever, going down to the to get to the plane and take off. And then I'm going down to one, one point. I said, "Damn it!" I, I went the wrong way, so I turned around to go the other way. And then here comes the big guy like this. He's looking right at me. And then so I went by. I was looking right at him. He's looking right at me. I went like that, and he goes like. <laughs> <laughs> and I went like this. <laughs> Got in the plane. <laughs> it's a hard hat after you work in that area and now you're actually going to the concourse no I don't think so Okay, but you know, <laughs> I don't have to be me I can just see the shit like, and, I, and I, I just looked at him smiled and said man I love you anyway it's like what the hell I see what happened from the very beginning I understand I know I see who did what I see how it came to be Whoopie do, big shit me. But I understand. That is the power of this DNA thing. It's the growth of understanding with the human brain as it literally evolves into something that's never been before. Except from the original first human race. And all but a little over 13% of them are totally dead now. Yeah. They, they attacked me and myself out of body, said, no, nah, shit didn't happen. So when people watch this on video, they're going to be, this guy's so fucked up. He's so full of shit. It's no <laughs> That's okay. Because I'm going to make shit happen. And it's going to happen. And it's not supposed to be about me anyway. So you know what? Sorry, guys. I won. I did my job, okay? My mops, not just dirty, okay? I cleaned it. Ringed it out. It's le leaning over the fence there. It's drying. It's all good. And you know what? It's like, this guy tries to make it about himself. And you know, and this guy tries to make it about himself, and you know what? They're gonna find out. No, it's not. That's the last thing it is. That's funny. The screen just went blank for a second. Did your battery get low? Yeah. Cool. It's back. And we're still kicking good. Yeah. You know, it's so funny that uh, people are learning more and more about me. Uh, when I get some of the sci-fi stuff going, the um. Subscribers goes up more. They say, "Listen, to this motherfucker. This guy's actually explaining what's going on." And then they get bored, and they, you know, they they drop off. Then it goes up, goes down. I don't care. You know, th that's good for them. They understand, but this mostly young kids. It's important for them to relax, settle down, which is hard to do with all that testosterone going through you. Yeah. And just see. See for yourself. It's the most abused people, the most controlled, channeled people, or beings, people to me, beings, are literally uh, human. More human than anything else. Human and then fey and then famine. Uh, soul in essence. And almost everything is soul. Um, they will put through it. They need to understand. Change is coming. There's so many, so many beautiful souls that are running around having lives where they've got the really aggressive, mean parts of uh, um, planetary essence in them. Because, and the reason why they like that is because they've been beat to hell so hard, so many times, continuously, like forever. Yeah. I, I, you know, it's it's. Um, How do you tell everyone that you love them and you really care and that you're here to, to take care of what's wrong? Sorry you're late and here it is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be damned. I don't know. I know uh, I've got the answer and I'm almost there, but uh, um, 
until people die and they go home and they see what's over there now. Yeah. When that happens, they say, holy shit. So this one gentleman I had a consult with, I was talking with him. He goes, my friend, I said, yeah, he committed suicide. He goes, yeah, but there was drugs. He's not, I said, look, he was tired of going. He didn't care. He took a little extra and he's gone. Yeah. So it considered accidental, but you know, he was, he was dumb. And he goes, you wouldn't worry about him. I said, you feel worried because he went home and he was scared because he saw what looked like a battlefield with everybody dead. Mm -hmm. He goes, yeah, it was, yeah, it just, I, he's, it's like, he's worried. I said, just relax. And I literally connected him <coughs> with his buddy on the other side and they talked mm -hmm. for a minute. Um, and then he felt fine. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the folks go home and they're like, holy shit. What the hell happened? He knows, don't worry. Yeah. Sit down, relax. Um, oh man, I, I, you know, I, I don't know what to tell people sometimes. It's, uh, but as they start to find out more about themselves, then things start making more sense. And uh, this other book too, uh, the third book of creation, the third creation book, creation walking through the door. Uh, I stuck that right in Deanna's ear, man. She's got to finish it. <laughs> no, she will, but I'll, I'll be starting it and then just leaving it. Um, <coughs> And let her finish it because it has a lot to do with stuff I've done. I'm not going to write that. Book two has a lot of stuff in there I've done. I, you know, you know how hard that was for me to write. I did this. I, I kill God. Yeah, okay. You know, this guy is an arrogant. You know, no, you don't understand, but you will. Yeah. It still has to be written. Think that's the only thing I've ever done that was going to shit on me? No. It doesn't matter. But it's hard for people who don't know him personally to see how that is because when you know him, you know that he doesn't keep anything for himself. Yeah. He's, he gives all of the money away. But no one knows, so it sounds arrogant and, until you get to know him. Yeah. And then you say, that motherfucker just crazy! <laughs> <laughs> I'll come he's so happy when he's dying. He ain't dying, he's feeling good. Because sometimes I see him up, sometimes I see him down, but you know what? Sometimes he has wine. I think he's doing drugs. He got locked up for doing a bunch of drugs. Yeah. I'm doing what I need to do for everyone else. You know, everyone used to say, oh my gosh, you hear, you hear, you hear noises, voices, and now you think you're talking back? You need to put on drugs. You need to be put on drugs. Big drugs. Big drugs. <laughs> you, we need to tell everyone you're insane. Take all your money, embarrass you for everyone forever, so you can never look at anyone. And that's good because you're never getting out of here. <laughs> everything I did to myself, writing that letter, taking all those drugs and everything else, and then while I was in there, Deanna's so precious. She said, "You don't tell people what you do." I said, "Honey, give me the quantitative electrical encephalogram reports." And she goes, "Oh, fuck." Yeah, because in the hospital, when he was in the purple coat thing. There we go. It's all right. Go ahead. He was start talking about, like, I see this, like, no, no, not here. I understand you have this drive to tell everyone who they are, what's going on. But now you're in the lunatic code. Yeah. <clears throat> don't talk about it. Please don't talk about aliens. Don't talk about any of that. I said, stuff. honey, don't. it's fine. No, well, that's when you were able to talk. When he could not talk, I was telling him things on the ear. When you wake oh, up. Oh, that's the hospital. Or the hospital. The hospital. The hospital. Yeah. He the, the, talk. The, the actual medical doctors were coming up to me when I was, you know, burning, trying to burn off all that damn phenobarbital I took. Uh, they, they're trying to talk to me. He goes, Do you know where you are? And I looked at the doctor and I was, it was kind of fuzzy. I said, Yeah, I'm at a restaurant and they need a new fucking chef. <laughs> <laughs> And he goes, what? I'm like, really? I'm the one that's fucked up here. What's your problem? <laughs> that was one moment he could open his eyes because they were closed all the time. He was completely out. But I know he I took enough. Me. I took enough to drop or kill three to five huge male elephants, adults. So it was a huge thing when he opened his eyes. And I was like, 
wow. So I would talk to um, some of our close uh, friends and say, he finally opened his eyes. He cannot talk, he's like, uh, he couldn't open his eyes, talk or anything, but I knew he could hear me. So just, I would repeat to him day after day, this is the situation. Don't say anything. <laughs> we need to get the heck out of here as soon as possible, so please. And how do you use talk. your fucking shower in your house? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she never said that. It's Among just... other things, when he was able to talk, so how do I not have to be a contortion? It's because I... I didn't know how to put it. The, the shower head I have, I'm, I, I'm ex-military, right? It's Army, but, um, you know, I'm not normal. Don't want to be. Um, I have a shower head on my, uh, on my showers that's made, uh, it's literally made for submarines for saving water. You know, it, yeah, it, 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 it only lets out a little bit of water. It's a fine jet, but you can control the amount that comes out to where when you want to soap up and everything, you turn it off. It's, and it's not like I don't spend money... What do I care about spending money? I spend them whenever I want, right? Uh, Not on I, you, but I, yes. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah but I do. Um, I do it on other people. It doesn't matter though. I spend it. Um, it's it's just the right thing to do. Conserve water. Save it for the children. Whatever. So it's so anyway. Nice, yeah. so, so, so I use that, but there's a little button on it, and I didn't have the time to tell her about it. Not only that. No, no. no. I expected her to see my fat ass dead, man. Okay? <laughs> and she's like... Not You're breathing, no. son of a bitch! No, no, she wasn't like that at all. No, he wasn't conscious, and on, on top of that, I would spend 14 to 16 hours at the hospital, so when I came back to his place, I had no energy. I just had to take a shower however I could, so I would crumble down with their... She would be there clothes. 16 hours. There's one guy that was giving me a hard time when I was just still under, but trying to come alive. And I kept feeling this over, and I'm like, Rrr. yeah, your eyes were closed. Yeah, and I, I, I was still knocked out, but I could feel the aggression towards me. And you know what that does, you know? <laughs> you want to fight, like, bitch? I'm here, you know? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> no. I wasn't there really normally, but uh, um, I mean, in a normal sense. But uh, no, you, um, could not, you could not do anything. I just get just, just get angry. Just you could move your hand a little bit. Nah, but I got that guy out of the way. Yeah, she, Deanna. She's so precious, man. She, Deanna, needle. No, she, no, she, no, I didn't. Uh, <laughs> Delay reaction. She, she freaks out about needles and stuff. But uh, if she wasn't drinking, she would have jumped right away. She had to what? stop thinking about it. Oh, no. I know I um, and here I am with IVs all over the place. And they literally had my hands uh, Velcroed to keep me away, you know, to keep me from moving. Yeah. I had IVs in me all over the place. And yeah. Deanna was, she can't stand the sight of a needle. And she's talking with me. What happened about the Velcro? Well, Tell um, us about that when it was Yeah, uh, sometimes he was fighting against it because he was restricted. So it was very hard for him. Although yeah. he wasn't conscious, he could not talk. I, I could not communicate with him. But I understood he needed to get away from those. But at the same time, the nurses were a little bit aggressive towards me. So I didn't want to go Excuse against me. their um, norms. <laughs> Because if I wasn't there, there, no one was there to know what was going on with him. Yeah. So then I would tell him, I'm going to release this hand. Just, you know, be good. Jay, please be good. Because he would start trying to rip everything off. But there was one time when I went to uh, downstairs to smoke a cigarette. Vegan. Yeah, well, <laughs> I had to say that. Before and, you did, how was no, I? No, what was my physical condition as far as being wrapped up when you went to go get a cigarette? No, you, no, no, you were, you were out of it. But I know it, honey. What was I? That I was I. You would I, try both to, hands were both hands what, uh, were both hands. They were literally trapped. locked up. Oh, they were trapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they okay. Were, and there was this. Both alcohol. hands were restrained. Yeah, and there was this report saying that Jay was aggressive. Because there was this asshole nurse that he was very he sour. He was a dickhead. Like, not aggressive, he's just trying to get away. Mm, that doesn't mean there's any aggression. I was becoming conscious. Yeah, and he understood he was being held, you know, by both uh, wrists. 
So, well, after me releasing him and say be good, there was another time when I went downstairs to smoke a cigarette. She, she did at, at one time let me alone, but then when the nurse came up, she put the straps back on me. And then, but I it, let, it was it was policy. I had all these IVs in me. Not only they, that, they, they they had to literally have me, you know, restrain because if I move too much, what happens? The IVs, IVs come out. Yeah. And not only that, because why was he at the hospital? He was yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, they thought I was As afraid, like, I wanted to kill myself. He and it's like, is a threat to his own, you know, well-being. Yeah. So I left, and I came back, and um, this was another time. And I saw, I took a picture, actually. The, the, the thing All was the completely straps. off. So I went, I went to the other side to check his other hand. And he was completely off. So I thought, well, maybe the nurses are, are trusting him. I don't know. But then they came back to do their routine or whatever. And they told me, what was this? Like, no, 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 no. I no, I don't know. No, 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 no. no. You didn't say, you went, blah, blah, blah. Tell them. Uh, they asked her, why, you know, what happened? happened? Where's my restraints? Yeah, I forgot about that. But yeah, but they said, no, 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 no. This is not us because this is against the policy. The, the, the nurse told her, look, it's against policy. He's totally unrestrained. He needs to be. So what happened? Yeah, right away, like, right away, right away, they start to strap him back. It's like, no, 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 no. This, I thought it was a nice thing of them to release him, but it was no one did that. When, when they were, when, when Deanna took off, I still had both restraints on me, and then when she came back, I had none on. There was a nice lady that came in. She was uh, it was one of the new angels came from me and Lily, and she literally released. It's too, you're drinking too much wine. I gotta help you. <laughs> I think that's when I said maybe oh it's nice that you guys gave him a chance or something. Yeah, said, she, no, no, she, no, no, me. I thought it, no, 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 no. That's they didn't, what, what, they when the nurses came back, they didn't know what happened. Because I was free of my restraints. And then literally this lady came in, she looked at me, I felt her heart energy, it was angel, it was male and female. And she literally took my restraints off. Yeah, because even and in she the looked room. at me and she smiled. And then I, I she took the restraints off and I just went it released a lot of the struggle for me to be free. And, and then they came back and I, what the fuck? And they said, you know, no, what, no, what no, no, this was not, no, this is him. Yeah, like, like, we're going to get in trouble if we do this, no. Right here in the chart, right here in the chart, this man must be restrained. Oh, Yeah, my. and I was being bitched so, at the and, whole and time. She came, so this angel came to me, did that, and it just felt so nice. It's like, fuck, thanks. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. and, and it, it, it's an it, because it's male and female angels, yeah. they're called G. Uh, Left and just took off. Mm. Walked away, goes around the corner, poof. Yeah. Yeah. With then Deanna I... came back. She's looking at me like, "What the hell?" The nurses are right there. I was with like, her, "That's awesome." Saying, "What the hell?" Yeah, there's progress here. And, like, oh. and the nurses say, "Who did this? Who did this?" And Deanna's like, "Not me, not me. I, didn't do it. <laughs> I was gone. I didn't... You were you were here when I right when I walked off. I didn't do it. Not this time, because I did that." She Some she loosened time, up like, my right she loosened good. up my right arm and she told me to be. And then I, the I left that. one and then I would sneak things and yeah. But anyway, you know it's just whatever. It's just kind of funky. Um, and then I, I talked with the nurse and I started telling her I was still not I was whacked out. I'm looking at the nurse and telling her stuff about her life her and her life and she's going. <laughs> how do you know? How do you you don't know that? How do you? That? <laughs> <laughs> I had a little fun with the doctor, but the doctor was more pissed. It's he was like very serious. Yeah, the doctor was so serious. Do you know where you are? I said, yes, I'm at a restaurant What's your that name? needs a new fucking chef. You know. <laughs> hey, go. Squeeze my right hand. Yeah, yeah. Move, move your red uh, left uh, foot. This when guy. he said, "What's your name?" I should have said Helen Keller. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But, you know, and here I am literally coming back from totally incoherency, if there's such a word. Yeah. We'll make one up. Yeah. I mean, I was just so out of it. When, when I left there and I went to the uh, rehab center for the first two and a half days, I was in a wheelchair. I couldn't even walk. 
The next thing you know, I get out of the wheelchair. I'm pushing it around, then get in it when I need it and use it. Then I get up and walk around and use it. Next thing you know, I'm fucking trying to get the guys to play basketball. We're in a gym trying to show them how to shoot. I got good aim. The ball just won't get there because I got no energy. And I'm helping them feel their own energy and stuff. And they're like, wow, this is, I got a whole bunch of people hanging around. This is, wow, this this is neat. Yeah, I feel pretty good. And then the doctor's like, I don't know what happened, but these people this guy's talking about, the guy in the overalls, they're doing good. They're doing good. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and the people, the people that work in the faculty, I'm helping them with the other people, helping them do their jobs. I said, just sit down and relax, man. You look tired. I said, you read too much. You you want to watch TV to have a life, but you read. It's like you're locked into it. You go, see, I know. And, they, and, and, and it's just they, and they cannot How do you have, know that? <laughs> and they cannot have any visits. So that was, that's when I could not be there. So we could talk over the phone once twice a day maybe because yeah. there were there was a very strict i had schedule. to wait to, oh yeah this, this is literally 20, diana can you 20, bring me like 20 bars of soap just to share with all the people <laughs> yeah so i got I, I was told i could have a bar of soap so diana got me a bar of soap and i said hell bring, this bring 20 more bring 20 more so i went and bought 20 more and then and, and then we brought them in they wouldn't give them to me i'm like what the hell's going on i, I said don't give it to me just give them to everyone else no they're not and that ought to have it, it could be dangerous. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, because and I said, well, look, I, I, no, I waited 24 hours, okay? I said, here, okay, we don't give them the soap back. And the next day I said, here's my bar of soap, so you have that too. And and they're, and they're all just like, what the fuck is it with this guy? You know, yeah. and he's talking to more and more people. Help, and they all feel better. They all do better. And uh, he's actually helping out the staff, mm-hmm. helping out them. There's no conflict. The only problem they ever had with me is when some of the classes, group classes we had, uh, they said, okay, now, what do you want to do, you know, for this and that? I, I said, well, you know, I, I think we do this, do this, and that's great, Jay, but, you know, I'm going to talk to you for a minute privately. We did, and they said, look, we have your records, okay, that this part of this whole thing. You make a lot of money, and you send every penny of it out. Mm-hmm. Not every penny. You know, you pay your Most bills, but, you know... Other than that, you just send it out. Um, we want you to do something that's fun for you. I said, y'all don't get it. And, I, he, and the guy goes, why? I said, that's what I get off on. Helping other people. <laughs> and he's like, <sighs> and the first thought in his head is, this will lead to disaster. He will try to commit himself, suicide because he's not taking care of himself. I said, look, I hope when I get out of here, to be able to take all these computers and stuff I have, send them around the world, do all this other stuff I've built up to help other people. It's a network I'm building. It's literally bigger than, but you know, a lot bigger than me. It's about what's supposed to happen. Yeah, it's about everyone. Say, I have a lot of and, work and, to do. Still. Yeah, yeah, and this is what's going to happen. I said, look, this is what makes me happy. This is what keeps me happy. If you read the note I left, it's three pages. I explained everything I'm doing and why. And it also has to do with my sister, Jill, because after I went bankrupt and then it got blown away, the the uh, mortgage company sent me a letter and said, you know what, now that this has happened, it's been released, within 24 hours, maybe 12 hours, we can take your house. You better make the payments. And it was up to my sister, Jill, to make the payments. I wasn't even allowed to make the payments. They sent me foreclosure notices and I said, I'll pay the money. No, you can't. Your name's not on the loan. I said, it's on a deed. I'm the only one on the deed. It's my house. No, we own it. I'm like, you're going to take my house and you won't let me pay you. <laughs> and Jill's like, yeah, yeah, I'm putting them in the street. She is so fracked. She has no idea. <clears throat> Whatever, right? I mean, you know. <laughs> Your facial expressions remind me of Steve. Steve Lewandowski? He is so precious, man. I love that. I love that guy so much. I love that man so much. <laughs> when I get out of here, I'm going to fix this. Yeah. That's my job. Yeah. He's and so I can't cool. wait. Yeah. I love you all. Love Deanna. Love the house and animals and everything else. I got to go. I got a job. I don't matter, man. Everything else does. He's gonna free, be he, free, and when <laughs> we have to deal with our. Yeah, that, that, no, that, that, that's right. I'll take care of it. You know, funny thing is, is 
Uh, I've had people say, well, Jay, what about this? About I said, let me tell you something. This is fact, Jack. Yay, though I walk through the valley of death, I fear nothing, because I'm the biggest, baddest motherfucker in the valley. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, this is going to go public, but, you know, honestly, I say that to my friends, because they know. Yeah. You know, and, and, and it, it, this shit ain't about me. I don't matter. I'm a janitor. <laughs> I work all day. I smell like shit. I go home. I take a shower, read a book, <clears throat> have some coffee, maybe some wine. I'm good. I don't matter. I am what I am, and nothing can kick my ass. I'm eternal, like everyone else. Fuck it. I'm good. I don't matter. It's everything else that matters to me. Uh, Archangel Michael, same way. That's why he's so fucking cool. He's an angel who's never had a life, but he understood there was a problem. I was killing angels and shit all over the place, and he got it right in front of my face. I'm like, oh, Fuck no, man. This is my brother. I love him more than I love my own life. Why, you know, why are you doing this to me? And he just looked at me like, dude, come on. Time to storm me. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yay! I was so happy. Not for me. Well, for me, yeah, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I look at some of the shit I've done and I want to say I suck, but I don't. I'm here for a reason. I do my job. I love everything. Everything, every single fucking thing that exists is more important to me than I am. And I'm lucky to say nothing can kick my ass. So I can keep doing what I need to, but I can't do it until I'm free of this body. And I'm almost there. I can't wait, man. I just... I want to perform my function. I love everything so much, I could sit here and cry thinking about it. Too much wine! Sorry, penalty! Yeah. I'm laughing right now, but she's going to beat the shit out of me later. <laughs> only, I was going to say the only scary thing is that I like it, but you blew the hell out of that, damn it. <laughs> I taught her how to throw darts, you know, and now she's kicking my ass. I said, God damn. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Alex, we got to run, man. I'm sorry. Yeah. I love you, Dave. Hey, look, thanks, man. This was a blast. Uh, you, so you don't mind if I put this on YouTube, uh, man. Uh, Let uh, everyone see the funky part of me. All of it? Yes, yeah, all of it, especially <laughs> you. Oh, yeah. my gosh. People are going to see you. Wait, wait a minute. You should have tell me. <laughs> hey, no make. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's been awesome. Alex, you rock. Uh, I love you, man. I love you too. Uh, we'll, we'll see you real soon. Yeah. We'll be throwing lot of, lots of toys your way. You gotta have. Oh, we're gonna send you a big chunk of Gayra night. Oh, cool, yeah. It is Gayra, just pure Gayra. Just a teeny, teeny, teeny touch of uh, Gaia's energy in it. That first planet that was blown up. I got bunches of that stuff. Right that now before we forget. Honey, that's your job. <laughs> oh, yes! Bam! Bam! <laughs> she says, he's got to get up and get around me to get out, so he's tagged. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take care of you. Okay. Hey, Alex, we'll have some fun, man. Thanks for everything. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank um, you both so much. Uh, do me a favor, please. Uh, keep in touch. Uh, like, yeah. as, as, as If you feel anything other than Extreme flatulence, give us a call. <laughs> no, seriously, when you feel something going on, let us know, okay? And the whole if you, time. If, I'm sorry? The whole time, my left side of my brain is The left side is where it's mostly located. Okay. The, the main thing is in the middle. And okay. I, shouldn't, I shouldn't have even said that. And then, okay. and then where it goes is left side, and then it moves around everywhere. Okay. There's shit that wants to butcher people, animals. Well, everything's good. To try and develop the super thing, whatever. Yeah. And they're going to die. Yeah. They're a little physically going to die. There is such a thing as karma. Yep. Karma's a bitch. And that bitch wears overalls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when they come up to the register, I'll be smiling. Hi. I love you. Not a very no. feminine one. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I don't do the curtsy thing too good. Good. <laughs> Alex, we love you, man. Love you too. We'll, we'll care, see you in a little bit. Sad. Hang in there. I love you both. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>